Today we're speedrunning every Duck Life game. Yeah, this actually looks terrifying when he's down here. But this is a pretty cool speedrun. You know, it has a great story. You own a farm and making tons of money, but a tornado destroys it. And you only have a single duck. So now you're going to do some illegal duck racing. So we're going to start the speedrun from here so we can clear our data we already have. Now let's just get started with it. So we're going to go right away and we're going to train our running. We start out pretty slow as you can see, but running's actually a pretty interesting thing. I mean, I say that and we're just kind of jumping over boulders, but what you have to understand is you can only jump when you're not in the middle of a hop so sometimes you want to jump over a boulder but you can't and i guess that's the only interesting part about this other than that we're just trying to go as far as possible for this first run we're aiming for about twenty-five thousand. it gets faster and faster and harder and more boulders when you go on so it is harder than it looks especially as we're going to keep going but hopefully we can get at least a pretty good score but i might as well say because we're just at this boring point look i don't really ask for subscriptions at the beginning of videos much but i'm going to try it right here all you got to know is it really helps out the channel and I'd really appreciate it. It doesn't really help you out too much, but it helps me out a lot because then it pushes me forward in the YouTube algorithm. So if you enjoy my content, please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And we're getting to a pretty good point. Hopefully we can get to one. Okay. Well, that was an unlucky boulder. Sometimes it just feels like you get really unlucky. So we're going to get 2000 more before we actually move on to races. Yeah. Okay. We're going to die now. Thank you, duck. So now we're going to eat enough of this until we can get to energy level two. And once we get to energy level two, then we can go and we're going to go into beginner races and we're going to start at one, one. So you can see because we did all that training, we have a lot of energy and we just kind of push past all these guys. Look how slow they are. It's kind of pathetic. And then we're also going to enter the race of 2-1 as well. Basically, you have three stats in this game. You have running, you have flying, and you have swimming. And now we're going to buy the blue seed and that's going to increase the stats for all three of those. So there are running levels, there are flying levels, there are swimming levels, and then there are levels that incorporate all of them. So we're kind of going to do a really strategic way to get all of these things. And I say a really strategic way, but even myself, I don't really understand it. I'm just following what world record did. But hey, I assume that it's probably a strategic way. So I'm just going to call it that. And now it's time to train some swimming. So swimming is a little more complicated than running because you actually have to jump. You can move forward and backward and you can go down and you have to be smart because something you have to jump over some things you have to swim under and sometimes this really trips me up now we're going to be trying to get about 40,000 points which is a lot and you start going very fast so it's going to get a little bit harder as we go on to be honest i'm not expecting to be able to do this in just one even the world record failed and had to do two runs of this but hey maybe we'll just do better than the world record here i kind of doubt it though Oh, there we go. Yep, I always mess up on that. I always mess up on the ship because I'm like, oh, I can jump over that. And then I don't realize that its sail is right in my way. So this means we need about 25,000 more, which is definitely a possible thing, but we'll see if we can get in just one. And there is some way to where you can get this super jump you can use. And I don't really understand how it works, but it can happen. I'll probably play a clip so you guys can see what it looks like, but I don't know how to do it myself, but we can do this. It's going a lot faster. I just have to be very smart about it. And right as I say, I have to be very smart about it. I die. I think I just need 10,000 more and we should be able to do that in one run. We're not going to make this a four run type of thing. The problem with these sections is I actually have to really concentrate on them. And I have notes that tell me what to do for the next level. So I really want to look at those right now, but that would be a terrible idea. And I say that right as that happens. Okay. Yep. Now it's a four. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to die. Yeah, that was that was fun. Anyway, it's time for some more races and we're going to go right to one three. This is where we're going to be doing our swimming. And you can see we have some pretty good swimming ability. It's kind of actually embarrassing for the other ducks. Like, where are you guys? Yeah, they're not even going to finish this race. It's kind of sad. And then we're also going to go to a swimming pool and kind of the same thing is going to happen to them. They are a bit faster because this is the amateur race, but it's not by much. Now it's time to go ahead, get some more blue bird seed. And blue bird seed is the best because you can use the yellow one, but it only trains one of your abilities. While the blue bird bird seed trains all of them. I don't want to do calculations or sit here forever clicking on this bird seed. So we just choose to get only it. Basically for this game, you have to have all of your abilities maxed out if you want to be the champion at the end of it. But yeah, that's the plan. We just want to get all of our abilities maxed out. So we're doing some more running. This time we want to get to about 20,000. You can see the boulders are a little more intense now. I think that's because our running stat is higher. So the game's deciding to make it more challenging for us, which sucks for me because I'm already bad enough at this game. It's good to just jump before the boulder even comes on screen but that is also scary because what if a boulder doesn't come but i'm just holding it right now i'm just hoping that everything will work out i just need 20k that's all i need are you kidding me 
That is so sad. Oh, come on. Oh, making me look bad in front of my YouTube channel. Okay, that should be enough. And now we're gonna enter a race, which is gonna be 3-1, which I just messed up my menuing, please, game. The real time saves I have in this run is first my menuing, and then also just doing better on those trainings. But they're harder than it seems. It's only like one button. Why, it is easy to mess up. Okay, I don't know why. What, what is happening with this bird seed right now? But you might notice that we haven't done any flying stuff yet. Even though we haven't done any flying training, it is going up because we are getting all these seeds but you can see it's not even close to the amount that our other ones are up because we actually train those this game is kind of interesting in that fact i mean i guess you shouldn't just be able to eat a bunch of seeds and then be the strongest bird in the world now it's time to enter 2-2 two -two, where we're actually doing a flying race we're not good at flying but because we're so good at everything else and because they're also bad at flying we could just do this and i guess i say we're not good at flying but we do have level 46 so all this bird seed has helped us a good amount but finally we're gonna get to the point where we're about to train some flying so the flying section is interesting because what the world record did is it just dive bombed at certain places so i'm just gonna follow it but i don't really understand why so we start out with dive bombing at 20 and then we go to 25 i'm just saying the numbers but i mean thousand obviously and i really don't understand the idea behind doing this or why these numbers were chosen or if it's just something random but i'm just gonna follow what someone else did i wish i had a better explanation for you than that but this time we go to 30 for some reason but then we go back down to 20 and then 30 and then 15 like like just why i should probably know this i probably should but is it really necessary it trains my duck up so i mean i guess it works i shouldn't complain so we're gonna finish that out with a 15 and then we're gonna go and race it three two where we can show off our flying abilities again so we're not the best flyer but because we're so good at everything else we're still able to do that and then we can do our last load of blues which is a lot of them so we're kind of just gonna sit here for a while i mean it's not the worst thing in the world because this music is so good but at this point our swim should almost be all the way up and now it's time to train some more flying. Which actually, now that I'm thinking about it, our swim's supposed to be all the way up. So I might have messed something up. We'll just have to train it in a bit. You really only have to have it be perfect for the final thing. But for right now, we're just going to train this up until we're perfect in flying. But you can see we're going really fast. Like, our bird is really training up. He's going to save our farm all by himself. Again, I really think this is illegal duck racing because who sanctions this it's definitely not the government i'm pretty sure it's just a bunch of random farmers they're like oh yeah go duck you can do it but hey that's not my problem i'm just trying to race my duck okay so we're gonna do a couple more races like this you can kind of see this is unfair we're doing the amateur race right now <laughs> yeah <come on. laughs> this is kind of just sad <laughs> should this even be allowed at this point can you even think what the other ducks are thinking they're just like wow why is this person in our bracket you can't even see them this time oh god i kind of feel bad about this but at the same time i really don't oh and this is my favorite race of the entire time so again we get way ahead but that's not the good part the good part is coming up here where we're just bonking our head into the wall because our flying is so good we just can't even handle it ourselves i love this game so much just come on guys you can you can get here they're really trying i promise and they'll probably do a little bit better in this race just still it's not even a competition yep you can do it guys good job and i am going to just in case buy a couple more of these blues to train up our swimming the rest of the way i'm not sure if this is important we might be okay without this but we're still gonna have it at the final level because it is the world championships all right if we take this bird lightly he's gonna destroy us because you can see he's actually holding his own with us and this is one intense race we are just a tiny bit faster than him because we trained up all the way i guess his owner was like eh, maybe i'll skimp on the bird seed well we were not at all like that so we're gonna be able to end off time in just a second and we finished the race. You can see this bird's like an ethereal bean. He has the glow around him. It was kind of hard to beat him. And next up, we're speedrunning Duck Life 2, which really is just a beautiful game. Our boy, the king, comes up to us. He's like, hey, what's up? And we're like, hey, we want to become a championship racer. So yeah, we have that mission now. And as soon as we hit next, that's where we start the time and we're going to get started. Now, right away, the most important thing for the speedrun, for me personally, is getting the hat. Now, you don't need the hat and it does waste a little bit of time, but it just makes your duck look so much better. So I just take him. and now we're gonna go through the training segments so in this game speed run you just want to train yourself up to max level and everything oh well that was kind of unfortunate but you just want to train yourself up to max level and all the different things right away before you do any of the races and we can do that because when you complete the entire game of duck life and then you restart from the beginning you don't have to upgrade any of the things because normally you have to get some upgrades you have to do some races before you can upgrade to max level but because we already played a game it just lets us go right away and it is kind of unfortunate because i think this speed run would be better if you had to wait and do some races on lower levels and all that kind of stuff but you know it is what it is i guess at the end of the day we can go faster so i mean that's 
that's a good thing. But you can see we're starting out on the running and I hate this mini game. <laughs> I'm not really the best in the world at this, but this mini game is just weird, especially because of all the balls that are getting thrown at us. Like with Duck Life 1, you can't jump when your duck is hopping, so you kind of have to time your jumps. And sometimes you can't time them perfectly because the balls are coming so fast, you're going so quick. It's just a weird mini game. This one's definitely the one I'm worst at, which probably isn't the best thing for this to be the first thing you see on this video. But hey, we can get a pretty good run going if we just are able to focus up but i really have to focus really hard on this and you can see the balls are coming faster it's getting a little harder and we lose right there you want to keep going as far as you can because the farther you go the faster your duck goes so the faster he levels up it doesn't matter too much if you do restart but it does make you a tiny bit slower and that is especially important during the speed run the question i have is who's hurling these different things at our duck there's like watermelons coming there are boulders there are basketballs baseballs all this different stuff like is this my owner that's doing this and he's just like you know duck you gotta train and i don't really care if you survive when you go on this training you're training anyway this seems like animal cruelty to me i don't care if you're trying to train his running why do you have to throw all these balls at him and make him jump over them and every time i get hit i like die i just fall off the entire map i probably have to go to duck hospital for a couple of days and i am not doing very well in this mini game right now you can also get very unlucky with where the balls and how spaced out they are like you can see right there i almost died and sometimes they're closer together and it's a little easier sometimes you get a pattern like that and it becomes a little harder and oh i hate this mini game so much okay what is what is going on chill out who is throwing these please we want to get up to level 150 which is the max level for running and we're going to want to do that for every single stat except for climbing you just don't have to for climbing which is great because climbing is the one that takes the longest out of all of them so only having to go up to about level 90 for climbing is definitely nice you can see the ducks just like glitching out at this point he's like jumping forward i don't know what he's doing he's going to like four different dimensions but we're almost done i just need a couple more points we're at 146 we're so close to this but it just won't let me have an adequate run okay this should be good 150 thank you now we can go on to flying and i like how they improved flying in this game they actually added a little more of a challenge than just running straight now you have these different pillars that just come across and you have to make sure you don't hit them but we have the same general strategy which is just fly until you slow down enough and then stop flying so at about 5,000 on these early levels that's where we stop because we slow down so much that it just makes more sense to restart there but each time we can go just a little bit farther and increase our level a little bit more and i'm coming back from practicing this where we're going like light speed flying so this just feels so weird to go this slow but you gotta admit that top hat it looks so good that was definitely worth my time lost to get this top hat it's just such a nice looking thing it's really interesting because you start out gaining levels really slowly but then eventually you start going so fast that you're gaining so many levels at a time but right now we're definitely not at that point i also don't know the exact numbers where i should stop my flight at i kind of just take it as you know when we're starting to slow down enough i guess i'll stop flying just go face first into the pond which is kind of sad on its own right now that i'm thinking about it our duck has to stop flying into a pond or just get hit by a gigantic pillar that he hits and then he has to swim all the way back <laughs> this isn't even the full extent of the training but we're going so fast we can barely even see the pillars when they're going by imagine getting hit by one of those you're just flying by going at this speed and you hit a pillar am i even alive at that point so, you know i'm just gonna take getting into the water over doing that i don't want to injure my poor duck's face too much or more importantly his top hat i'm more concerned about that that. I paid a good amount of money for it. Okay, and one more flight should do it for the flying section. And then finally, we can move it on to the swimming. And that should be enough. Yep, 150. Time for swimming. And yeah, we're back to being slow. But this is what I'm saying. I really wish you had to do some races in between this instead of just leveling up your duck all the way. It would make it a slightly more dynamic and fun speed run than just going ahead and doing these for five minutes at a time. But hey, we're not worried about what's fun. We're worried about what's fast. And I guess it is also fun to just completely destroy all the other ducks when we go in the beginning races when we're max stats that is one beautiful thing to see but swimming sections like always are very interesting you're trying to survive as much as possible and it's not the hardest thing especially right now but once we get up in the levels this is probably the hardest one out of all of them okay we're getting up into the levels this is where it's about to get hard it really shouldn't but my heart races way too much when i play duck life i guess part of it is i am speed running if i was just playing this casually you know i die once whatever but right now i'm getting up into the levels if i can keep this going this makes my speed run like 10 times faster and oh my what is going on please oh god duck little duck survive you can do this let me get the levels oh gosh come on oh i almost went over the cruise ship what is going on i love this game once you get into these higher speeds oh we almost made it all right that was still pretty good but we're going so fast now that you can't really control your duck no matter how hard you try like 
<laughs> what is going on? Are you okay, man? Okay. It's all right. Only a few more levels and then you'll be free from this torture that you're in right now, dude. But who knows? He might be having the time of his life. Like, this would probably be pretty fun to just defy the laws of physics. It becomes so hard to control. There might be something I'm missing and something that makes it a lot easier. But right now, it just seems like I'm all over the place and I don't know what I'm doing at all. Okay, one more level. I should just let myself die right there in 150. And finally, we get to climbing, which is the new mini game they added into Duck Life 2. And in this one, we don't actually have to go all the way up to 150. And that's also a nice thing because this is definitely the slowest one out of the bunch. I mean, besides running for me, but that's just because I'm bad at it. This one, you just go left and right. And this is probably my favorite mini game out of all of them. But this one's just fun. I mean, it does look just as dangerous as the other ones. You're jumping left to right and there are spiky things that could probably impale you. But I guess one of we cared about our duck safety, we're more worried about getting that money. For this, we want to get up to about level 90 and we can call it good from there. And then finally, after all this time we spent training our duck, we can get onto the races. And those will just be glorious as we just destroy everybody else. And how am I staying alive? Oh my, I'm actually doing pretty good at this and I'm getting pretty good luck as well. Please, oh, come on, duck, you can do this, you got it. I don't think I've ever made it this far in one of these duck life climbing sections, so I don't know how I'm doing this well, and I don't even know when I should stop, but I'm just gonna keep going, you know? I gotta go for world record of just climbing at this point. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Oh, that was, that was a good time right there. Anyway, back to some normal climbing things. I don't know if my duck just disappeared from reality and I don't know if I should call a doctor or something. He might be going through some emotional trauma right now, but we're just not gonna worry about that and we're gonna keep climbing. I also love the animation for the duck climbing in this. Professional climbers, you should learn from this man. He just knows what he's doing. I do also wonder where are we finding these sections to climb in? I have never seen an area like this. My owner just must be some sort of madman. I guess he does throw balls at me and rocks that could possibly kill me. So he must be mad already. He should probably have the connections to find a place like this. I also don't know exactly when we're going to be reaching level 90, so I just have to kind of guesstimate. Should that be good? And we'll go for one more level and we'll call it good. Here, you can go there. Level 90. And now all we have to do is just dispense some of this stuff so we can make our energy level to about level 30 and we should be good to go on the races. Come on, bud. Just eat your stuff a little bit faster. He's looking at me and I'm just trying to click on this thing, but sometimes he's just not listening. Okay, and there we go. And it's time to just destroy everybody in these races. Again, Again, it's really not fair. <laughs> uh, other ducks? Are you, are you? All right, see you guys later. This is just, this is just sad for them. <laughs> you can do it, guys. The race for second place. Yeah, you, you guys, you guys gonna finish on time? All right, area final. This is where you guys can come back. I believe in you all. You. You got this. The rate at which I fly is just unfair compared to the other ducks. Yep, just gonna, just gonna sit here for a second. All right, those are those races. Let's go to England. We're just in a sewer and again, it's just not even a competition. Eventually, these competitions do get a little bit harder. Obviously, we're gonna win them all, but they do get a little more intense. But for right now, okay, one of them actually finished the race, which I'm pretty proud of them for. I wasn't expecting that yet. I was expecting them just to all fail. And what was that movement my duck just did? Whatever, we still finished. Will they finish this race? I think this purple one has a pretty good chance of doing it. Uh, oh, he was so close. That is depressing. And yeah, on the area final one, there's just no way any of them finish the race. It is a very sad thing. I feel bad for this. I feel bad for just over leveling my duck this much to where no one else can even compete with me. But at the end of the day, I guess you should have trained a little bit more, shouldn't you? Yeah, um, I don't think they're gonna make it game. I don't think they're gonna make it to the end of this race. Now it's time for Egypt. That'll be cool. Maybe they'll be a little bit harder now. You know, they seem to be putting in a little bit more. Why is this music still getting played? Shouldn't it be the race music? Um, that was kind of weird. I don't know if that was a glitch right there, but whatever. We're just going to keep going with the races. We can see me. I'm just going through and we're at a good enough difficulty to where the ducks can actually finish the races, which is good because then I don't have to wait for this entire countdown. I am curious though. Are they going to finish the race on this one? It's so long that you're never really too sure, especially with my flying skills, all that type of thing. We're just making it right through and I'm hoping, hopefully at least they'll get on the screen before the end of it. Come on guys. You can make it. Oh, they did it. They might not have finished the race, but 
at least they were known and seen. I, it happened again, the music glitch. Is this supposed to be happening or I, I don't think so, but at least we're facing ducks that are kind of our level. So that's a good thing. And for this part, I wonder if we didn't have the flying ability, would we just die there? Would our duck just get killed by going into the volcano? I am a little bit worried about that. And whatever, I'm not gonna worry about the music anymore. It's just happening. It's just doing its thing. But if I was just a little worse at flying, would my duck just be dead? Is that a good thing to have in races? I feel like that's a little bit, you know, messed up to have here. All right, guys, you can, you're you gonna try a little bit harder? Come on, you can make, oh, they didn't even make it at the last one. And now we're getting to Japan for the semifinals. And again, it's playing this music. This really isn't that intense for the finals, but this part is dumb because all the other ducks can also meet me right there. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I just destroy them and everything else, but it was still kind of dumb. And here's even a dumber part. This is the part where I have to give these people free promotion. They didn't pay me in a sponsorship or anything, but you've seen McDuckolds, you saw Gap, you know, they didn't pay me and they just get this free promotion, but I guess that's okay. I'm just such a nice guy that I'll just give these big companies that I'm also completely joking, by the way, please don't take that seriously. But finally, after this race, we get to the saddest part of the entire run. And that's because we have to take off our hat. I don't know why, but for some reason, the hat makes us lose this race. It's really sad because, you know, I want to have my hat that is stuck through me for the entire thing but if we have that hat on we just lose and i don't really want that to happen i'd rather just win the speed run so yeah we have this weird music going on plus the fact we don't even have our hat on this is just a sad last race it isn't even exciting at this point i mean we win that's pretty cool i guess but uh there we go, and we can call time right there. Now we're on to Duck Life 3, which I feel like is gonna be an amazing game, because just look at these abominations. The storyline is a farmer invented genetically modified ducks, and I don't know how this is okay, but I guess we might as well use them for racing. So we get to choose what kind of duck we wanna use, and for this one, I'm gonna choose the athletic type. That's just because its stats are pretty good, and at the end, I think it looks the weirdest, so of course I'm gonna pick that one. So in this game, there are three different leagues. We start an amateur, go to professional, so we can start our timer right here, and then first of all, it's time to go to the running training. The running training is pretty similar to the other ones, but they did make a couple of improvements. First of all, there are different kinds of balls like that one that came from the top. And as you go faster, the balls get bouncier and bouncier. There are also tennis balls like that one, which this is a really awkward position. I don't know how I made it out of that. And another really nice thing is if you jump on a ball and hit the top of it, then you won't die. Originally in duck life, that would just kill you, which made this game a lot harder than it needed to be. So honestly, I really like the changes they made to the running section. Okay, come on. I don't know how I'm doing this. Okay, I'm like, oh, what is going on, duck? You got this, just keep going. Come on, if I can get a really good run to start out with, this is gonna be a very good duck life run, much better than I thought. Okay, well, eventually we did get hit, but that was a pretty good run, I'd say. We only have to get up to 31 running on this first section, which is a nice thing about choosing the athletic duck because running is definitely one of the things that takes the longest amount of time. So I don't know the exact point value I need. I think we're just gonna go until I die and hope it's around then. Better to have more experience than less experience, especially in a game as intense as Duck Life. And we made it to 30 when we needed 31. It even says in the notes that 30 can work, but you probably shouldn't do it because it can also just make you lose. There's a little bit of RNG incorporated with 30, but this should be good now. We can go on to training and now it's time for flying. Flying, they changed a little bit because now they added these purple pellets, which basically will speed you up in the air. One starting thing is you can always get one right there. As long as you're holding up right at the beginning, you're always gonna get a first purple pellet and then the other ones are kind of just randomly scattered throughout. But I'm definitely happy that they added those because it makes this game a little bit more dynamic and a little bit more fun, especially because for this mini game, we have to get up to 50. So might as well make it a tiny bit faster. Honestly, there's not much more I can add to the flying now. It's pretty much just like the flying in the other games. But like all the other mini games, as you go up in leagues, it does become a little bit different. So I'm excited for that. Okay, with one more flight, we should be good. And then we can move on to climbing. All right, level 50, nice and easy. Now we can get on to climbing, which is definitely my favorite mini game to do, but it's also the hardest one in my opinion. It starts out nice and easy like this, but don't worry, it's gonna get a lot faster. I'd say the hardest thing about it is it's just a lot of RNG and sometimes it feels like you can't really react to it and you kind of just got unlucky, which hey, I guess I'm speedrunning duck life, so what else am I asking for? Around this point is when you really have to start concentrating up and losing the run. I guess. <laughs> we want to use the least amount of cycles as possible because every time we have to do another cycle, it slows us down a bit. 
Okay, Doc, wow. <laughs> My guy is really going. We're not getting the greatest RNG in the world, but for some reason it's working right now. As you do more and more climbing, you kind of get used to how the layout works. It's not completely random, it's just mostly random. Okay, I only need to go up this a little bit more and that was embarrassing that I tried to make that jump. But we should be good here, I believe. And then the final one we have to do is swimming. Swimming, I'm gonna be honest, they really haven't changed it all from the other games, except they added this duck. So, you know, that's a nice guy. He's just swimming against us. Hey, look, there's another one. How you doing, dude? And this is the one out of all of them that you wanna one cycle the most. If you can one cycle the swimming, then it speeds up your run so much. I'm probably not gonna get the one cycle, but at the very least, I'm gonna try to go as far as possible. I wish there was more to say about swimming, but <laughs> that's pretty much it. You guys have already seen me do this two times in two different videos, except what just happened to my duck. And that was also a little embarrassing for just losing all that time, but whatever, we're gonna keep going with the run. It hasn't been too bad yet. I always think you can jump over those sailboats and I always end up dying because of it. I believe to get to level 50 on this one, you need a total of 50K. So if we could get a nice and long run, at least the 30K on this one, we'll be set in a very good position. Oh, and it's starting to do that stuff. Gotta love the glitch in duck life where it just gives you like an extra jump against your will. <laughs> Those are interesting. Okay, this has been a really good run. Why couldn't this have been my first cycle? Why did this have to be my second cycle? And okay, the game is like destroying me, whatever. We're up to 44, we only need a little bit more. Once you get fast enough, you really lose control of just everything. What we'll say there is good. Now we can go ahead, eat some nice seed, and we have to get our energy level up to level 18. It's kind of funny that you only need to get that up to level 18 for the entire run. But hey, it is what it is and time for the race. This is kind of just sad for the other ducks. I mean, it isn't extremely sad, but <laughs> yeah, good try guys. But how these races work is there are three races in the quarterfinals and three races in the finals. And then of course there are three different leagues. So a total of 18 different races for this entire segment. And I mean, most of them aren't really gonna be a trouble. We already know what values we have to get our levels up to. So yeah, <laughs> we kind of just decimate the competition. They can try their best though. I applaud them for it. It's just not really gonna work out. Now we have at least some better competition. It's just still not even really that bad. I mean, these guys are kind of keeping track with me. It isn't the worst thing I've ever seen, but these definitely are some sad races. I mean, you just know your duck's gonna win and the other ducks can try, but at least it's not super sad races like it is in Duck Life 2. All right, come on, little duck. You can do it. I'm really not too worried. This is actually an interesting race because the purple guy does get ahead of us, but then he forgets he's really slow on everything else. So we can just get right back up there. Okay, he's actually pretty good at climbing too. Yellow duck, you gotta hurry up a tiny bit, all right, man? I think we're gonna be, oh, yeah, we're okay. For a second, I was worried, maybe, okay, I'm a little bit more worried now. I think we win this on the swimming though, yeah, okay. I don't even know why I was worried at all. Anyway, now we evolve into that abomination. <laughs> time to train. So for these trainings, we get shot out of a cannon and now we're going in between buildings. You'll see that they added something where you have to go in between two buildings. And of course, we're only gonna fly as far as we need to. Once we start slowing down, it's just time to dive bomb into the city. I wonder if people are just hanging out in the city and then they just see this gigantic bird dive bomb onto the cement. Oh God, that would be a scary sight. Especially if you don't know about the bird mutation, which I'm not sure if it's government regulated. Um, I feel like this is definitely not legal to make your duck look like this. But hey, who cares about morality when you can win duck races. We should be good on flying. Now we have to get to running. Unfortunately for, okay, I don't want to go to the races. What was that? But unfortunately for this one, we actually have to get up to level 100 on running. But you can see they changed the running a lot. I mean, I guess not too much, but they added some stuff and I guess they also added my death. Now they have cliffs. So I mean, that's pretty cool. And okay, can I please just do a right run? This is probably the most cursed image I've ever seen my duck just waddling by. This guy is seriously something you see in your nightmares. <laughs> I don't know what the people in the city are thinking right now. And I hate these bouncing balls. They literally keep going in the worst directions. I never know if I should jump or stay under them. Usually it's safe to stay under them, but for some reason they just keep destroying me when I try to do that. There we go. Come on, duck. You got this. Just go a little bit farther. And there we go. We made it to level 100 and accidentally restarted. That was kind of awkward. <laughs> okay, now we got climbing, which now we're climbing in between buildings. For this one, we only have to get up to around 90 climbing, but this climbing is a lot more awkward because of all the obstacles and things like that. And something else that's awkward is just how our duck is climbing in general. 
<laughs> this is such a cursed image, but I guess that's what this game is. So for these climbing sections, I just try to go as far as possible. I mean, it's the same thing as always, but then you get RNG like that and it ruins that entire climbing section. Hooray. I really am curious if like the best duck life players can just deal with that and not even worry about it. Like I'd say I'm a pretty moderate duck life player at this game. I've gotten pretty good at these games. Okay, whoa, that I almost was able to save my own mistake and then everything else happened. I am happy that we don't have to go all the way on climbing because like I've said before, climbing is definitely the one that takes the longest out of the bunch, which I don't completely mind because it is my favorite, but I do mind because I mean, I'm trying to do a speed run here. Come on, bud, you got this. Just go enough to get up to level 90. That's all I need, 88. That's a little bit too low, dude. Oh my God, how are we surviving this? I am almost off the screen, but there we go. That is good enough. We can finish out with swimming and then get done with this little area. For the last swimming, we do want to get up to level 100. So that is kind of unfortunate, especially when I hit those spikes because I just didn't press down soon enough. But at least we get to see this cursed imagery of this guy paddling his legs. I don't even know if I can call this a duck anymore. It just looks like a green person with a beak. But yeah, swimming changes a little bit differently. As you can see, they add a couple more obstacles. And of course, I get the glitch to take me out right there. But like I said, it's not too different. There is a little bit of changes, but just wait until we get to the final swimming section. You have to wonder, did someone set this up as a training thing or are there just a bunch of boats, spikes, and like submarines all around the place? But you get to see the other abominations of birds, at least a little bit. They're a little bit clumped up now, but we'll be able to see their distinctive features in a bit. And yeah, it's the quarterfinals, so it's kind of just a sad race. It's kind of funny how you can just upgrade your duck as much as you want and then these quarterfinals are just a breeze. I mean, I kind of feel bad for the other birds but it's kind of hilarious how badly they're losing. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Are they even going to finish this race? Come on, man. You got this. Are, are, are you the only... What? Where are the other two? And now we get to actually see the beauty of all the other birds. You can see there's a strength one, there's the flight one, and there's the swimming one. And they all have their own different distinct colors. I mean, it's kind of cool how they did this game. They did make it a lot more cursed, but I mean, at the very least, it's kind of visually appealing. Okay, I'm not sure if I would say visually appealing. It's visually different. I can give it that. And this strength guy is really trying to catch up to us. Too bad he doesn't realize that I'm just better than him. So sorry about that, man. Okay, well, that was the races for those. We're gonna evolve one more time and we become the Chad. And now we're on to our last few missions. So the flight has become a little different because now they have the ones you have to go in between and the ones you have to avoid. So they kind of just combine the other two flights together to make it its own thing, I guess. Which makes it a pretty interesting challenge because you actually have to pay attention to the symbols. You used to be able to just ignore them, but now you have to make sure that you're actually doing the right way. Look at my bird try to flap his wings though. It just looks so awkward. Am I the only one thinking this? Am I the only one thinking his long slender body doesn't fit with his tiny wings he has? Maybe I'm just crazy and don't understand duck evolution, but you know, it's just kind of an interesting tidbit. But there we go. Flying is done. We can go on to running and they really decide to change around running. So instead of things coming at you, now you're just running so fast and things are just stationary. So you can see we have to jump over everything. If we hit anything, we die. So like that ball, they're just sitting there. They're not even rolling towards me anymore. I've just gone so fast that I will brutally injure myself if I even hit a thing that's standing still. Okay, well, that was a pretty good run. That wasn't the worst in the world. And for this one, we want to get up to 146 at least. Okay, we are going so fast. When I get to this point, I kind of just can't even pay attention to my bird anymore. I have to look at the other half of the screen just so I can be able to react because this running section gets just so much faster. I enjoy it a lot more than the other ones though. Also, the scenery in this game is really nice. I mean, it's kind of just the same couple trees repeated over and over again, but they look pretty nice, I guess. I get so scared when we get up to this point because it's like, you have no time to react. You just have to hope you press jump at the right time and we barely don't have the amount of levels we need. We'll do one more run and I think we should be good with that. I'll just try to go as far as I can. Okay, come on, well, 149 is good. We can go on to training and now it's time for climbing where our incentive for climbing now is there is a pit of lava that is chasing after us. Yeah, this used to just be a fun climbing game where, you know, you had to climb a certain amount. Now, if we fail at climbing, we die. You're also able to move up and down now instead of just having to go left and right, which I don't really know why they added because what I do is I just constantly hold up. But I mean, if you want to get closer to the lava, you can move down, but I don't see why you'd want to do 
that. I'm not gonna lie, this bird has way more curves than I do. I would not wanna train in these conditions, but I guess that's why I'm also not the world champion at being a duck. So I can't really say anything in total, but what's okay? I don't know how I survived that. I made so many mistakes in that little short amount of time. It was bad. If I keep going with this, we might be able to get a pretty good time. Okay, dude, let's go. Oh, you, your feet were in there. His feet were in the lava right there. That was terrifying. The nice thing about this climbing section also is we only need to get up to 138. Climbing is the hardest one to increase at, so definitely a good thing when we have to do less. And I am literally getting burned alive, but for some reason my bird is surviving. Oh, my nerves are like coming out so hard right now. I just want my bird to go faster, but everything is, keeps going wrong. And I feel like we should just give up at some point. I guess we'll stop there. 136, uh, we need 138, you're kidding me. This is kind of a sad climbing section now. I'm gonna go up a bit. I don't know how much we really have to. I might be losing time as we speak, but right there should be good. 141, and now we can finish off with the swimming, which yeah, as I said, it's changed a lot. This is like the biggest change I think they made to this game at all. Everything else, you know, it was different, but it was the same general concept. This is just a completely different swimming section. I guess my duck has also grown gills or something because he just doesn't need to breathe. This section is interesting because you can only go up in it. Other than that, there's like a really strong force that pulls you down and it kind of feels uncomfortable. I think it might've been better if they let you go up and down instead of having the force that makes you go down. But I mean, it works out, I guess. And we're actually getting a a pretty good run right now but of course when I say that this is the time when I'm gonna die so why do I keep mentioning when I'm doing well well it doesn't matter because we still keep going okay I'm really impressed with myself right now the nice thing about this is the speed doesn't increase at all we kind of just swim at five miles per hour and keep going I don't even know if you can call this swimming it's more of just like tactically floating also I haven't mentioned it lately but how cursed is this image of this duck <laughs> look at his feet why does the duck have feet like that dude come on I don't mean to shame this poor duck but I guess that's exactly what I'm doing. I don't know again when I need to end this. I guess we'll try here. And we made it to 150. That's actually a really good thing I did. I think we might be able to get the sub 40 minute. When I came into this run, I was not expecting something that fast at all. So I'd be really happy with that. And you can see the other ducks, you know, it's quarterfinals. They're trying their best. It's not gonna work out for them. Also, your camera just goes up and down at the end of every single race for some reason. We're gonna see it at the end of this race too, which is just an interesting feature. Okay, ducks, why are you even trying? Why are the other ducks even trying in this race? This just isn't fair. But you can see, why does the camera do that? What is causing that? And then of course we have our final quarterfinal race which we start out with flying, so it isn't too bad for the other ducks just yet, but then we get to the running section and goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> nice meeting you. This is kind of an awkward situation that's happening. I'm just gonna fly my way to the end and hopefully you guys will come by. Okay, they weren't too bad. They weren't too slow that time. Now we can move on to the final races, which zooms you out a lot, which is pretty interesting. And these ones are actually pretty good. I mean, we completely, did. what was that? That was so, uh, I did not even recognize that was the animation before. <laughs> I did not know that was coming up. Um, I'm just gonna try to blur whatever that was from my memory now, because I don't think I ever wanna see it. Also, that was a very close one, but it doesn't really matter. We won anyway. I'm still caught up about that mission of how that happened. <laughs> Okay, whatever. We're just gonna try to ignore my nightmares and whatever feelings that might cause. And instead, we're just gonna win this entire race, say goodbye to the other people. I guess they're trying their best, but yeah, it really isn't even a competition. But finally, because we won the finals, we get to the place where it actually is a competition, where that happens. And now we have to fight an army of domos. So you can see this game is kind of dated, but we have to shoot these domos, otherwise they're gonna slow us down. And yeah, this is the game I'm playing right now. I bet you weren't expecting that. I almost missed that domo. I almost didn't shoot him to death and that would have been really bad. But if we don't hit a single one of these domos, then we're pretty much just gonna lose the race because for some reason, the other guy doesn't get hurt by it. And yeah, I have no idea why they decided to add this part in particular in, but I mean, it works out. We won the race and that is our time. Now we're on to Duck Life 4, which hopefully won't break me. <laughs> but the game starts out with a pretty cool story. One year after the ban of genetically modified ducks, one duck racer reigns supreme. And it's all up to us to beat him. So yeah, that's just what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our yellow duck just because look at him, he looks beautiful. And I'm gonna name him Lenny number six. He just looks like Lenny number six. But we can start our timer as soon as we click continue right there. And then we get to learn the basics of duck racing, which you know, you run across the place, but we run out of energy. Our duck sucks. 
he, he's just not good at the game but luckily for us we can get some seeds get some more energy and yeah we can actually make it to the flat i don't know how we weren't we we hopped like three times before he fell i don't know how he didn't have enough energy to do that whatever we made it to the end and yeah that's gonna be the start of our speed run right after that we get a whole bunch of tutorials telling us to do things i don't really care about that because instead what we care about is starting our training but also we don't start our training just yet because we let ourselves lose the first training because the first training kind of sucks the second training though this is the one we want to do and this training is pretty interesting so basically there are a bunch of rocks that are going to fall down and you just try to dodge them not completely die and it starts out pretty easy you know the rocks are spaced out pretty well it's not the hardest thing in the world we can get all this money too but it's gonna get much harder this is probably the part of the run that's gonna drive me the most amount insane because this is the part of the run where you literally spend about 30 minutes doing the same thing over and over again we go through this process of dying right here not even getting to do this at all going to our next training and starting the endurance training and yeah we have to do this until we get to level 150 which is a longer way than you might think for some reason in this game they made it really hard for you to increase on levels so i'm kind of just waiting hoping it happens sooner rather than later we can use this strategy where i kind of just sit in a corner and then hope no <laughs> boulders come by me okay we're fine here the nice thing about this game though is they did add a bunch of more mini games sadly we're not going to do too many of them we're only going to do the most optimal one because that one's going to give us the levels the fastest and yeah that's basically what we want it's a speed run so it doesn't matter if i think this level might be cool we're not doing it there's nothing going on here i'm gonna die go to my next one and do this for the next like 25 minutes yep this is duck life 4 speed running at its core <laughs> i'll see you all when we get a little farther in the run also i've literally just been sitting in this one spot for the past like three minutes and no boulders have tried to hit me i'm not even doing how is this even running training at this point i'm not even running also this one has been surprisingly good we've already made it up to 4,000. ideally we want to make it up to at least 5,000 each time i think the world record is able to make it up to like 10,000 and stuff which yeah you can see that this gets a little bit hard as you go a little bit higher but if you do want to get levels fast you got to go as far as possible this is my life okay seriously what am i supposed to do against this there's so many triangles how am i supposed to dodge all oh my please well there we go we've made it 15 minutes in now yeah you might have thought i was joking about doing this for 30 minutes but i was serious please somebody help me. i don't know how much more of this i can handle but we're gonna make it the entire way all the way to level 150 oh god this is such a good run i cannot lose this one please literally at 6,000, i don't think i've ever gotten this far no oh it was still good we're at minute 23 now and i've gotten to the point where i don't even want to do this strat where we just sit here just because it's so boring I'd rather risk death just so I can do something. Please let this grinding section end. Okay, if this grinding section is good enough, this should be our last point. After almost 30 minutes of playing this game, we might be able to get to do our first race. This is the speedrun that everybody wanted to see. Well, here you go. But I think I've developed some really good skill in this game. Like, I can just dodge things. It just happens. Kind of like I'm in the duck matrix, only much less cool and much more grinding just the same thing over and over again. I just need this last one to be a good run and then i can finally be done just get all these rocks and basketballs coming out of nowhere just trying to kill me just let them stop the unfortunate thing is i don't know how much i need though so i'm just gonna keep going until i die because i'd rather just do it on this one waste a tiny bit of time than have to do a whole new training segment okay i might be stuck no i was able to make it out of that but there we go 150 thank you finally and now we can buy some seeds feed them to him and we're gonna go all the way over here to do our first race against this brown duck well you'll just see what's about to happen <laughs> That's the race. You gonna make it here, man? I believe in you. You can do it. Three seconds left. Yeah, we trained pretty hard. But we basically had to do that because to get a tournament invite, you have to be one of the ducks out there first. And now we can do the tournament, be team Lenny number six. And here we go. Now we have our tournament matches, which also are equally not very difficult but for each of these tournaments there are three different races that you go through they do get harder as you go on but for all of these we are going to be getting up to maximum level so it's never really going to be the worst i mean these people have cool hats they got that going for them even if they are terrible at winning the races yeah i'll see you guys later you might make it someday i mean i see that watermelon hat it's pretty nice but there we go that should be the end of the first part and the grindiest part and now we're on to this part which is also very grindy because this entire game is but for this one we get to to die to the alligator over
over and over again. And then we get to go through here and just kill ourselves there as well, because this is the only part that we care about, this diving section. And we want to get a good score, trying to make sure that we get our head as close to the water as possible and doing a good dive. And we're just basically going to go through that over and over again. My favorite part is dying to this alligator. That's always a fun time. But yeah, again, we have to do the mini game that gives us the most in return. We can't do the other ones because they just take way too long. But for this one, we can get a lot of points relatively quickly. And I say a lot of points, but you know, this is still going to take like 15 minutes. It's still going to be a lot of poor duck deaths going in an alligator. Yeah, sorry about this duck. You might get eaten a few times, but I mean, you can only really blame yourself because you wanted to become the best duck racer in the world. But that was a good one. That was perfect right there. If we do one of the perfect cycles, we will get five levels. If it's not perfect, we'll usually get four levels. And then if we just completely mess it up, it'll be like barely any levels. But we can try our best to get it perfect. I don't think this one is perfect because our dive wasn't. So this one should, oh wait, that actually was five levels. I'm surprised. But you can basically see how this world goes. We kill ourselves twice. We go into the last section and then we do the last section, dive, try to get the best score. Yeah, it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna see you all once we get a little bit further and a little bit more into my pain. You got to respect our duck's mental fortitude of just going in this alligator's mouth over and over again just so we could like this is not okay i don't know how he hasn't gone insane yet but hey i'm gonna take it because i'm trying to go fast he is as well it doesn't really matter at least the alligator gets a good amount of food we're doing something for the public helping out alligators making sure they get their food we're just great people i don't know how my duck makes it out of his mouth but i'm sure it'll be okay and this next one should be the last one and to be fair it didn't take as long as i thought it would like i thought it would take like 15 it only took about 10 and i'm okay with that even if it is this thing over and over again for 10 minutes at least it's done we got that part and now we can move on with our lives so we're gonna race this red duck he's like oh i can beat you in a race but he forgets how much diving we just did how much pain and torture we just went we're not losing this race okay my mentality my life it won't let that happen so yeah you can try a little duck but you're not gonna make it and that's okay because now we can go to the tournament take our duck over here three times and there we go team lenny we're gonna have to face off against all these other ducks and yeah it's pretty much gonna be the same thing as last one hey but we did get to slide down some mud that was a pretty good time you know i'm sure my duck enjoyed it you guys coming oh there you go you you made it good job but yeah for these races technically you're supposed to use multiple ducks because your duck does get more tired as it does more races and you can get more than one ducks in this game but we don't really need to because there's no point in training multiple ducks that would take forever instead we'll just overly train one singular duck and let him go through all of these races and and yeah the other people aren't even gonna have a chance but there we go the swamp is now done and here we go we're moving on to the flying training i actually forgot where we were for a second but for this one again we want to fail the first two levels we're gonna get these they look like pretty cool mini games but we don't really care if they're cool or not because we're just trying to do this mini game as it's gonna give us the most amount of experience in the fastest amount of time so for this one as you can see we're trying to hit these targets the closer to the center the better we're doing and it's a mini game i really like i think this is one of the best of them even if it is the same targets over and over again so it's not like you really have to adjust it would be a little bit better if these changed up their positions or something but i guess this makes it easier because we kind of know where we have to go even if i'm bad at hitting it and this is also another one of the ones that doesn't take too long i mean it takes way longer than i want it to because i've already spent 45 minutes playing this one singular game but still it's not the worst thing in the world we're gonna be able to make it through hopefully i can get this angle this is the hardest angle for me to get but yeah it should be a good time and my sanity shouldn't slowly disappear from me <laughs> i'll see you when we're a little further the hard thing about this game mode is you both have to get power and also the direction so like for this one we could do the right direction but we also need the right amount of power otherwise something like that's gonna happen if i just gave it a tiny bit more power we would have had a good run but yeah i had to do that instead i gotta say for this mini game i'm at least getting a lot better at it like i'm getting pretty close at always hitting at least fairly close to the center even if it's not perfect like even for the hardest one that's not too bad obviously Obviously, it's not perfect though and if I could do that I'd probably be a lot faster but we're just not gonna worry about that okay <laughs> I'm just gonna take my hits that I can actually get and hope that they give me enough points not 21 that isn't as much as I would like and as long as I just don't completely mess up everything and hit them completely wrong this should be the last one at least I'm very much hoping for it to be please just let me hit this that's one close to bullseye this should be number two okay only 50 this one actually has to be good and it was are you kidding me I'm going in this tree <laughs> 
waiting for that much more. Oh, wait, that was 50. Cool. All right, well, that gave me 50 through that one. That was how close we were. Anyway, time to do the green ducks thing. He's going to be like, hey, I'm a well-rounded duck. And that's all cool, but I'm a duck that is trained way too much for everything. And yeah, I'm just going to destroy. Like, it's really not even a problem for these other ducks. I really do feel bad to a certain extent, but they really have nothing on my work ethic. It's kind of insane. I'm not going to lie, but we got that. We can go to the next tournament. We're going to put our boy in here three times again. And there we go. Team Lenny number six against a bunch of people with a bunch of cool hats. I'm not going to lie. Their hats are way cooler than what I have on my head, but I do have that confidence. You can see my angry face. I'm ready. I'm confident. I'm focused. This is going to be a win. We're going to be able to make it to the next point. I mean, at this point, if you've spent this much time just doing that one mini game, aiming at those targets over and over again, your mind must need you to win these races by a lot because otherwise, what did you just spend all that time doing? Maybe I'm kind of putting myself into the duck given how much time I've just spent doing this, but we're just not going to worry about that. I'm going to ignore the 56 minutes I just spent on Duck Life 4. But there we go. That's that part done. We can go on to the next one and we only have a couple more worlds. We can go to our, excuse me, thank you. And we can do the climbing thing. For this one, again, we kind of just sit here for a second. We're going to let this place get by. Yeah, this is going to take a tiny bit. But once that's done, we can do this, which is called Risk. And I hate this mini game because it's completely luck based whenever that avalanche happens. So we can just be climbing. It will tell us there's an avalanche. We have to go in the hole to make sure we don't get hit by it. But like here, we don't know if an avalanche is going to come. I had to waste a little bit of time. We only have a minute, as you can see. So sometimes you can risk it. Like here, will we make it to the next hole before the next avalanche? There we wouldn't have, but it's completely luck based. Like here, we could get an avalanche that could destroy our duck, or we could get a little bit more lucky and actually make it a little farther. So I guess at this point, I just kind of have to hope that my luck is good. Like I could have tried to make that, but I definitely wouldn't have made it into the hole. So I'm happy I stayed there for a second. And now our timer is going to end up. So there we go. That's 2000. That's eight levels. And it's time to do this for another 10 minutes. Yep. Just me climbing up a cliff, trying not to die because of avalanches. And that's my life right now. Hey, avalanche, how you doing? It is kind of sad that the least fun mini game out of the ones in the climbing section is the one we had to do. Like the other two mini games, those are pretty cool. They're entertaining. There's a lot you can do, but this one is the one that's going to give us levels the fastest. So I guess it's what we have to do. Hooray. This is what speedrunning Duck Life 4 does to a man. It just removes my sanity and I, I just... <laughs> But I need to stop self-pity party and just climb, I guess, because the sooner I get done with climbing, the sooner we get out of this part and the sooner we can finally defeat the champion duck. The thing about this one, though, is that it always gives you a minute timer and you're never going to get more than 10 levels for each time you go on this. So when you really think about it, this is at the very least going to take 15 minutes and at the very most, probably like 20 to 25. Like you can get a little more lucky to make sure that you don't die in several places. But for the most part, it just comes down to spending a lot of time I'm doing it. Even if you got the perfect luck, I don't know how much faster it would be, but I guess I also can't really worry about that. I'm just worried about my duck trying to become a champion. It'll all pay off once he makes it to there. I sure hope so. And am I dead here? Oh, we just made it. That was so close. Oh, another one, another one. Oh, <laughs> that just happened two times in the same run my heart is dying right now we're just gonna make it to this last bit because it doesn't matter if we die there and hey we made it to the hour mark hooray so i've been at this for a while and i don't even know if i'm just going crazy or if my duck is moving faster than he did before because it looks like he's climbing faster but i don't know if i'm just like what is going on really this is what duck life does to me when i was streaming my practice of this game also something someone pointed out is how do they find a mountain that's just completely vertical like this is a completely vertical mountain with just some cubbies you can just go into if you need to who designed this map? was this like man-made just for duck racing or is this one of the natural wonders of the world these are the questions we need to ask but may never know and finally after i don't even know how much time this should be the last one to get us up to level 150 please let it end i don't know how much more of this just climbing up a straight vertical wall i can take but i'm just gonna let the avalanche take me this time i think we we should be enough. There we go. 150. Thank you. So we're going to race the gray duck right here. He's going to have a nice little race for us to finally do after. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm going to be honest. I've been at duck life for so long. It's kind of insane. But will he actually finish? I mean, oh well, yeah, it actually looks like he did. He just wasn't even close to beating me, but we're just not going to talk about that. I don't want to embarrass him like that. But as you can see, now we have the climbing area and yeah, I don't think anyone's going to be able to beat me at that. My duck at this point is so good at climbing 
climbing and pretty much everything else that what are they even supposed to do they can try to beat me at this climbing wall but it's like it's not gonna work i'm gonna climb i'm gonna fly i'll probably fly just to the end right there <laughs> I don't even have to walk at all. All of you. Yeah. And we have one last one. We have a couple more ducks. They got some cool hats, but unfortunately we won't be able to see them anymore because they're way too far back. And that is going to be the third race. And finally we can get onto the last grinding section. Wow. That took a while. <laughs> so this one is going to be the jump training. And to start it out, you start getting hit by a boulder if you can. And now we're on a pogo stick. And this is going to be the one that we want to do. As you can see, for some reason, the boulder is still on the screen. It's not really supposed to be, I don't think, but it is and i just completely died right there but the pogo stick is honestly really hard to control and just make sure you don't jump in the places you don't want to like that i almost just died it just feels so weird and also it doesn't help that there's just a boulder right in the middle of the screen that's trying to prevent me from seeing we want to make it as far as possible if we can get to about jump 10 then that's really good but even when we don't you see you level up really quickly with this mini game which is great because again i don't know how much more i can take of this i've been at this for an hour and 20 minutes and you know i can't say exactly it's been the time of my life but i'm just gonna try to focus up on this pogo sticking making sure that i don't lose too much and make sure we go far enough to where it matters and that wasn't the greatest but again even on the ones that aren't the greatest they're still pretty great we still get pretty far i also think it's funny how instead of trying to dodge these boulders we're literally just trying to get hit by one and i died on the first jump that's kind of embarrassing yeah we're not going to talk about that we're just going to give my duck some more concussions and go and pogo stick my duck's really good at pogo sticking at least even if it is very hard to control how did that one not make it yeah you can see although this area is very fast it's also very difficult but i'm going to try my best just so i can finish out this run and finally be done oh, what is going on oh Okay, well, I don't even know what the Mike Duck was trying to plank right there or something. I don't, I don't know what that was supposed to be. Also, something interesting about this section is when we do die, we have to make sure that we don't hit continue. Because if you hit continue, then you go into the third mini game, and for the third mini game, it's 30 seconds. Like you have 30 seconds that you can use, and you're not allowed to quit out before it. And can I please stop jumping in that one hole? Yeah, obviously it's not the most optimal mini game, so we don't want to do it. And yeah, we just want to get out of here as fast as possible, continue on with our lives because you can see all of these areas they give you the option to either continue or go back to the menu so sometimes you want to continue sometimes you want to go to the menu it just depends on what the best thing to get levels up is we actually have a good run it's been a while since i've had one of these and of course i don't what i feel like if i was just a tiny bit better at pogo sticking then this would go a lot better but this is just hard it just feels so awkward i'm sure my duck is okay with as many deaths as he needs to have in order to be a fast duck racer though so it should be fine Oh, that was perfect. Oh my. This is the farthest I've like ever gone. And I just want to keep going with it. Will I be able to? Not really, but at least we got a ton of levels right there. For the world record, I'm pretty sure they were able to get 10 jumps pretty consistently, which is really impressive. But hey, I'm not going for world record. I'm just trying to finish at this point. But hey, why worry about what world record did when you can just look at this beautiful duck gameplay? It's looking great. Yeah. Oh, it's so easy to lose control with this. Please duck, stop. Do not jump in the hole. Why do you love that hole so much? All right. now. If we can get a fairly good run with this one, this should be the last level. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to actually do that with how I've been going so far. But as long as we can control this a bit. Oh, okay, Duck, what are you even going on about? But that's 150. I don't know how, but it is. Anyway, let's race this green duck. He thinks we're not going to beat him. Dude, I don't really know what to tell you. What do you expect going on for you? Also, this area is really laggy for some reason. I'm going to turn the quality down a bit, but even that won't <laughs> Oh, I don't know why this area is so laggy and this is the only part of the game that lags this much But finally once we make it out of there, it just goes back to normal. But hey, we beat the green duck He was very confident, but he couldn't really back up his claims and we can go to the tournament again We're just gonna bring our duck in there three times and yeah, it's time for team Lenny to go again Okay, that's a very nice top hat that guy has but here we go. We're going on top of cars climbing on trucks I think we're causing a very big nuisance in this economy. Like what's going on? Why are these cars stopped for us? Was this specific? plan just for duck rate whatever i'm not gonna worry about it now we're in like an office space and we're just gonna jump out of there we have those amazing hops because of how much we trained we can see this swim okay i will and we can make it to the end and then for our last one right here we're on top of a cruise ship or something and then we get to the swimming part where of course we're just gonna win they can try but we're gonna go on top of this car where there's a flagpole right there as well and there we go so to face the final boss before you do that you have to defeat three different people we're gonna start out with this black duck then we go on to the other 
other two right there i don't know why we don't just climb like that part's really weird but we're going through this volcano we can finish off with that race go on to our next one and now we're gonna have this like is that blue light blue i don't know what color that is exactly i don't know why i'm so caught up on it but again we're in a nice volcano place we're gonna climb up this wall i don't know why my duck stopped climbing for a second but he's still gonna make it through it's going to be just fine this other duck's really gonna try but again what are they gonna do they might be key bearers but i'm just better so you know what are you supposed to do against me and there we go now we have this last duck who again thinks he's really good he even brought his girlfriend or something like that but we're just gonna embarrass him in front of her and not really care so yeah we'll jump over those they're trying to keep up it's not gonna work it is time to face the final boss and finish out this run so we can go into this crate we can open it up we can use this tnt and there we go we like explode the mountain or something and get the final duck i i don't really know what's happening anymore but what i do know is for this race it's actually us controlling our duck we can't get hit by any of the volcano stuff or anything like that so we're gonna be kind of careful right here he can get ahead of us but we are fast enough to where i'm not really worried about it i mean he's trying to go but i'm gonna be honest it's not really gonna work out for him i just have to make sure i don't fall in this volcano i think it's kind of cheating that he can just fly and what when did i hit okay well that's a waste of time to my speed run i don't know when i hit lava at least this time we're way ahead of him but i really don't know why i just died there i'm gonna be even more careful this time i guess but that was very annoying but there we go we could finish out with the last race he can finish up as well trying to beat us and we are now the world champion of duck racing good job lenny number six you did it now we're on to duck life treasure hunt which is probably the weirdest game in the series because it is not like any of the other games rather than the normal duck life formula instead we're basically just playing jetpack joyride don't worry though we go back to the regular duck life formula after this pretty short speed run but it actually is a pretty cool game it's pretty fun what we're gonna do right at the beginning is get as many coins as possible and we're trying to make it over to a thousand meters which isn't too hard you can see there would be the power up that we could have gotten right there we're not gonna take it because at a thousand we get a gem and I also am gonna wait a second longer until I die because we also want to get this chest which is gonna give us a bag of coins and that's a good amount of stuff before we die and we bring over our diamond which is going to be our first objective now we're gonna go to the store and get a super jetpack which means when we start this next one we will be able to use it and get a thousand meters right off at the start by the way what you're seeing me doing at the beginning each time we play one of these is I'm pressing tab space and then if I hit continue it lets us skip that countdown that's normally at the beginning so it just saves us some time but right there I am going to take that bag of coins which is really nice we can see a power up right there again we can't take it but we're going to die as soon as we reach 2000 meters and that's going to be our next one done people are going to be so excited about that that's just how this game works and we can also buy a pack of five super jet packs here so we no longer have to go back to the store but yeah the general game plan to speed run this game is we have to hit a thousand meters then 2000 3000 4000 5000 and finally 6000 and it gets really hard especially once we get into some of those later ones right now it isn't the worst thing in the world we're kind of just dodging the missiles and we aren't moving too fast just yet but once we get later on it definitely will get harder but what we can do to help us with that is use these power-ups yes they also took this from jetpack joyride where there are a few different power-ups you can get and they'll give us an extra hit of damage it's also going to give us different obstacles in the way like these spikes that we have to dodge and yeah we're just going through with this guy we see another chest we don't really need any more chests though and i'm actually going to get hit there so as soon as we reach 3,000 meters we can die and we're also going to take these bones which is going to be the next thing we need so now we're halfway done with the speed run but same old same old we'll be using a super jetpack okay let's see what power up we got we got the fast bird one now this one is actually really nice because you will see it speeds us up but it's also kind of hard to control especially when we get things like that i cannot believe we dodged all of those dragons but yeah you're usually not going to keep that guy for too long but it is a nice speed boost and now we're making it to 3000 we're having some homing missiles and all sorts of obstacles we just beat our best right there and thankfully we get another one of these which is going to be this guy again and we'll fairly simply be able to make our way over to this next spot i'll get hit right there and then of course we're going to die at 4000 and also get this sheep oh we also got a key which we won nothing from just a time loss and now on to the next one which is going to be 5000 meters now these next two runs are definitely the hardest ones in the entire game thankfully we have this suit right here so hopefully i can keep it for fairly long and we make it over to 5000 get hit as soon as we get our next collectible and that's going to be an ancient seed so that's another one done which means finally we're just making it to the end so we got a power up we haven't seen yet it's this bird and they jump really high and then you can also slam back towards the ground so you have some pretty good control of it but it kind of is one of the harder ones to use especially in situations like this with all these dragons what i have to do is just make sure i have their pattern correct though and we're able to make it through there and it's pretty much just 
be as safe as possible. We're getting really fast here. I do not want to lose my suit because if we lose it here, then it will be super easy for me to die. And we are so close to the end of the speed run. We just have some rockets going by. We have all these electricity things and we should be good at this point. No matter what happens, even if we do lose the suit, we should be able to make it to the end. And there we go. We reach the end of the cave and time ends as soon as we see this screen 847. Now we're on the duck life space where we're fighting aliens, but we can go start the game. We can pick how our duck is supposed to look, give him a specific color, eye, hairstyle, markings on him, all that kind of stuff. And honestly, I think this duck looks pretty good. So we're going to start the time as soon as we name our duck, but then we can start the timer. Cool. We got a new duck. There's a whole bunch of cutscenes and stuff like that, but we don't care about that because we care about feeding our duck and he's going to get a lot of food. The start of the speed run is just feeding him all this food and he goes at it, just nibbling away at it. Eventually he's going to be done with all this food and then we're actually going to be able to move on. But, but yeah, we're just kind of sitting here. Come on, little duck. You got this. This is definitely the most intense part about this speed run. You can do it, buddy. But there we go. Once he finishes all the food, then we can race our first person, which we're going to race this duck right here. And we need to do this race because we want to get a ticket and that ticket will allow us to compete in the tournament. And in this game, they added boost. So you can use a little bit more energy to boost yourself forward. So we're going to use those, beat that, and now we can enter the tournament where we're going to use a certain glitch. Basically, what we can do is we can start the tournament with our duck and then just get rid of him and we'll use rental ducks instead. And what that does is it gives us this screen which we don't get to see the entire race. We just get to see a still image. Yeah, don't ask me why this happens because I have no idea, but we won the race and we didn't have to do any training, so that's cool. And sadly, this glitch is what we're gonna be using for the first couple of races. I mean, it's not really sad because it saves like literally an hour, but it makes the game a little bit less intense just in the beginning. But don't worry, as we get on to later levels, it does make sense to actually use our duck. But right now we get these amazing races. Yeah, I'm not even facing off against anybody i don't know how this is legal but there we go we finished the first world that was pretty cool and now we can move on to the second one where first we are going to want to do some training and the training we want to do is this flying training which is the weirdest training possible because i don't know how this helps your flying i'm kind of what what is this? But we want to increase our flying to about level 30. And then once we get there, we can move on. So I'm just going to try my best to hit these trick shots and fail at them. We got that one up to level 13. So we will have to play again. And the reason we're doing this flying training right now is because you need some flying to beat the next bird and get into the next tournament. We're going to use the same glitches before again, at least for another couple of these tournaments. But we do still have to get the tournament key before that. So yeah, we got to do this. But as I said, don't worry because there will be more trainings and more tournaments that we're actually going to be racing in as we go on later with the speed run. But there we go. We got 30 flying and now we can do our first race against this metal duck. Or I guess our second race. I don't know why I said first. I guess first of this world, which also this is like a cheese world. I don't really know what's going on with this. I think because it's the moon and haha, the moon's made of cheese. You get it? Hilarious joke. But there we go. We beat the guy. We steal his ticket. And now we can go and do the tournament where again, we're going to race our duck three times, but then also not race him. And we're going to get this team instead. And we get this amazing experience where we see a still screen and nothing else. What else could you want out of your speed runs? We will boost a little bit just because we can. We have enough energy to spend. But yeah, this kind of ruins the point of duck life. But yeah, I mean, there's not much to do. I'm literally racing against nobody. I don't know how. I got away with this with the tournament organizers. They must be terrible at their jobs. I can't appreciate that they decided to make the entire moon made out of cheese. I mean, cool feature, I guess. Looks a little bit better than just a gray moon because that would get a little bit boring, especially when you're just staring at one image. But there we go. That's two of these races out of the way. Now we just have the third one left. Do you think we're going to be able to win it? I don't know. It's a little bit of a scary one. I'm going to have to boost right there. Hopefully we're going to be able to beat our competition of no one. Yeah, it's definitely a... I don't even know how to make this commentary enjoyable. We're just watching a still image. There we go. Now we can move on to Mars. And in Mars, the first thing we're going to want to do is go to training. And we want to train our running. And the running training is actually pretty cool. Basically, we have to click forward, make sure we stand on these platforms, and don't hit all the dangerous spikes that are on the ground for some reason. Because those look like they might kill me. And I don't really want my duck to die. That doesn't sound too fun. One thing that I can appreciate about this game, though, is just the music that plays in the background. They really made some good music for this game and it really shows especially when you're 
not doing the races and yeah but we want to get our running up to about level 60 and then we can move on go to the next race get our next tournament thing so i'm gonna try to go as far as possible i think we might be about there so i'm going to try to die right here and that's level 59 you're actually kidding me i guess we'll just go for it a tiny bit and then die can i please die thank you i didn't want to retry no okay that was the tiniest time loss i've ever seen but there we go we got that up now we can go to this pirate duck or something i don't know what he's supposed to be and we're gonna race against this guy he has an entire pirate costume i don't know why you're on mars if you're a pirate is there even an ocean here i guess there is this water but this will be an intense race he does have the advantage on us but we are a little bit more courageous or about the same but i can boost forward right at the end get that ending thing and then go to the tournament yeah that was a little too close for comfort but you know it's not going to be a little too close for comfort doing these tournament races oh but i actually forgot i just made a huge mistake i forgot before we do these tournament races we have to buy some more food okay that's going to waste me a tiny bit of time but we should be fine because i was able to recognize it right away it shouldn't waste too much time i just have to boost up my duck until he's at a good level because energy is going to be very important for us to complete all these races that are coming up so i'm just going to let my duck go out it get all the energy he needs and i guess i didn't really need it yet but it's good to have it now just so i don't forget it later because really when you think about it i'm still not using this duck but we're just not going to talk about that hopefully that's enough energy though i'm going to race him in this race right now or not race him because i'm using these ducks instead and also they're not even competing in a race it's just like finishing but i mean this is a pretty cool screen you got this tiki thing it's long everything's red that's a pretty cool color i'll be honest i don't know what else to say the good thing is this is the last time we're going to be using this glitch after this we are going to move on to actually doing the races and that means we'll get to see a lot more training and a lot more cool duck races i guess but i guess right now you can watch this purple pellet move up i don't know what's going on with it why is it doing that weird effect to add into the game but i guess i'm not gonna judge it hey look another tournament race one i don't know how we did it because i couldn't watch it but i'm sure it was a great time and we only have this last race until finally we can actually watch some duck races instead of just like hearing about them happening i don't know if i'm actually winning these i'm just assuming because the game's telling me i am i mean there goes my duck we saw him for a second Second, but now he's gone again but there we go that is going to be the last race out of these three and now we can move on we won that we get some more cutscenes, and now we're in this world right away we're going to go into the training and the first thing we're going to want to train is our intelligence and the intelligence training is interesting because it's kind of like a rhythm game i mean who needs friday night funkin when you have this game and we want to get our intelligence up to about level 80 i think it's cool how they added new traits into this game like intelligence because it just gives you more to do more to train and that's never really a bad idea to add things like that the annoying thing about this game though is as you go on you see the plus 0.4 seconds in front of the screen so it kind of distracts you as you're trying to play the rhythm game and everything okay yeah that can sometimes happen but that's okay i just have to extremely focus and make sure i'm not losing too much time just gotta go one by one because you don't have to go super fast you just have to go fast enough but sometimes i just try to push myself and end up wasting a tiny bit more time than i need to but this is a pretty good run i'm just gonna keep going the bad thing about this game is i'm not really sure when we should end with it so i'm just gonna keep going as far as i can because i'm sure we'll be pretty intelligent by the end of this it's never a bad idea to be intelligent okay that is level 75 we only have a tiny bit more to go so i'm just gonna train a few more of these until we get to level 80 and then we can move on with the other trainings and that is level 80 now we can move on to swimming and the swimming training is also pretty interesting because for this swimming training instead of doing the weird thing with the boats that you might remember from the other duck lives we actually have like a kind of hard option obstacle course we have to make sure we're not hitting anything just going through this entire place and we can't hit the top or bottom wall so it is a little scary as you go through you also begin to see more obstacles as you go through like that one right there so we have to dodge that and we're trying to get a score of about 2500 before we're finished with this training of course it doesn't have to be in just one of these trainings and you can separate it into two but it is best to do it in just one because you start to go like really fast as you see right here all right come on duck do not fail me okay i failed myself right there but we're just not going to talk about that i only have to go a little bit more so i'm pretty happy with it while one training is possible i feel like two training is the most consistent because doing it in just one is so difficult but just a tiny bit more training to go i think if we make it to about a thousand on our score we should be good and we should make it to level 60 so there we go and we're at level 63 i'm gonna be happy with that and now we have to do some climbing 
Which the climbing, okay, it literally started me out with the worst RNG possible. <laughs> what was that? But as I was trying to say before the game just completely decided to destroy me, is the climbing is pretty interesting, as you can see right here. And it kind of feels trippy because, I mean, just look at the map. It might look like it's really easy, but as you're going up this, going all the different directions, it's really easy to lose your spot or have that happen, I guess. And for right here, we want to get our climbing up to level 60. So that also isn't too bad. I just have to make sure I'm completely paying attention, especially as you start to get faster because these things can start to come at you really quickly and like look how good my guy is at climbing how fast is he going i don't know what this vine is that we're climbing up like how did we find something this big and something that curves around so much it just seems like a weird design of a vine but i guess i'm not here to judge plants i'm here to play duck life so i won't worry about it oh and we're going super saiyan speed okay Come on, calm down, duck. All right, we're just going to make it a tiny bit more. Oh, I feel like this is a really good run right now. Okay, and that is going to be up to level 61. So that's going to be good. And all we need to do now is the jumping training. And jumping training is pretty interesting because we like swing on a vine or a rope. I guess that's not a vine. I feel like they could have used a vine here, though. It would kind of fit with the theme more. But whatever, we're just swinging, trying to make it as far as possible. For this one, we want to make it up to 1,700. And if we do there, we should get up to the level we need but as you can see the platforms start getting smaller and smaller it gets a little bit harder to reach the ones you want to and oh we just missed our thing i'm gonna have to do one more training right here because we do have to get up to jumping 51 but that should make us up to level 53 and now we can continue so we're gonna race this duck right here he thinks that he can do a lot against us but we just trained for a while so it's not gonna be the best day for him it is interesting how there are all these different ducks on different planets like these ones are really furry for some reason and oh yeah here's where the entire intelligence comes in intelligence basically dictates how fast you can go through portals so it is pretty important as we go on obviously because more portals are going to become a thing i don't know how intelligence dictates that because you know it doesn't really make sense but i guess what makes sense when you're playing duck life but okay now we can do some tournaments but quackity is actually going to get the chance to race against people we got an ice duck a duck with some really long hair and a duck that kind of looks like me seems like a pretty good race to me we are going to want to use our boost in some pretty good places but I'm not too worried about winning this. We have to use our intelligence right here. We're smarter than all the other ducks. I didn't train my intelligence for nothing. All right, I'm going to win that race right there. We can move on to the second one, which it looks like now. Okay, what is going on with that one duck's eye? It's like, I don't even know what that is supposed to be. Is he crying? Are you okay, dude? Do you need help? And I guess there's also another duck with like an alien mask, or maybe it's actually just an alien, but whatever, because I'm not here to worry about the other ducks. I'm here to just make sure that I beat them in a race. And that's just what I'm going to do. Yeah, come on, dude. Finally make it to the end. All right, you're wasting all my time. And now we got the last race where it looks like one duck is like part pigeon or something look at that fur it does not fit his blue face but i really shouldn't judge these ducks and yeah one of these ducks is really good at swimming but bad at everything else so he tried to make it ahead of everybody but then he sucks at climbing so he's gonna get farther back this game is really interesting how on these big jumps they have to sit for a second and look at the jump and be like hmm do i really want to do this it's kind of hilarious actually but you can see we're almost about to lose at the end but surprisingly winning in this last race doesn't even matter because it it just takes the average score so even though we got second place we still won and we can go on to the next place yeah i don't really understand why it happens and now it's time to train some more first we're going to want to do some running training and for this we just don't want to get trampled by these things yeah there are literally things trying to crush our poor duck who's just trying to train and i am a little scared for him i'm not gonna lie i don't think he's surviving right here okay well sorry about that bud this section heavily relies on rng a lot of times you can figure it out by just looking at the top section section and making sure you'll be safe but sometimes it will just give you an impossible pattern so you just kind of got to accept that like right there i don't think i could have made it to the end but for this running training we only want to get to about 90 so i'm not too worried about it right now you only got to do a bit of running training until you got to make it to the optimal level so i'm happy with that it's definitely better than the system that the earlier duck life games have where you have to be like maximum level this game lets you spread out your stats and not just have to grind for hours also i feel like we're definitely running level 90 so i'm just gonna get smushed there and it looks like we were one away. You're kidding me. Oh, why does this game hate me so much? I'm just going to get smushed here. Oh, can, can you please get me? Okay, I'm just going to keep running forward until it kills me. Game, I am literally trying to die right now. Okay, I'm just going to let it happen. Duck, there you go. Okay, I'm sorry about that. And now we have a swimming training where there are sharks trying to kill us. Yes, these sharks are just coming out of nowhere. They have bloodshot red eyes that I don't even know how to describe them. They just look terrifying. But you know, I'm just having a fun time training 
explaining away my swimming. I don't know why this is the optimal setting to do it in. I guess it gives you a motivation not to get caught by these evil sharks that are definitely going to eat you like they did right there. We're not going to talk about that. That's okay though. That was a pretty good first run. If we can finish out with the second run and get to level 84, then we should be good. I think we only need to get a little bit more. But with all these games, it's a little bit confusing because you don't know the exact number you want to get to to level up. So I'll just try to survive as long as possible, but not too long. I guess. You know what? That seems like a lot. That should be 84. Yes, that is 85. Perfect. And now we can also do some flying training, but the flying training is me being in a spaceship. I don't understand how this is training my flying really when I'm using a spaceship. And in this one, you're constantly shooting and just trying to go up and down. Some of these asteroids you can break, but any of the asteroids with crystals on them, you can't break like right there. I don't know why I just ran straight into that. And we only need to get up to rank 85. So we should be there fairly soon the game's getting a little bit harder as a bunch of things are coming at me i'm gonna hope that's about here please just kill me and that is not 85 that is 78 i cannot do math i guess or it might not really be math just my predictions are off I guess we'll just play a little bit longer. Okay, but there we go. That is 85. Now all we have to do is our jumping training, which the jumping training is pretty interesting. We just have ice blocks that are trying to murder us violently. It's another one of these games where they're just trying to smush us. And I don't know how I feel about that. We really do love putting Quackity in situations that are going to murder him. And I guess it's the fun thing to do, maybe. Sorry about that, Quackity. It's just life, I guess. But okay, I don't even know how I survived this because it just got me off the map. And why did that give me flying train? What? Wait, did that just give me flying training? I am so confused. That was supposed to give me running training, but it said fly. I, I don't know if this game is just glitching out. Did it just not give me the train? I what? Gotta love when a random glitch just destroys your speed run for no reason at all. <laughs> that was great. Whatever, that's jumping level 70. We won't worry about it anymore. Let's just finish out with this game. We're gonna race the frozen duck, try to get his ticket. And I'm still a little bit disappointed in the game for ruining like an entire minute of my speed run, but we're just not gonna talk about it because I got this intense race to do instead. This guy is completely made out of ice. I'm not sure how he's alive, but you know, he's not alive in the races because now he just got demoralized forever. Sorry about that, man. But I gotta make it to the tournament, win that as well. We're gonna be facing off against all these people i don't know what kind of clothes they have on them right now but it really seems like they're trying to look cool little do they know they don't really look cool so sorry about that but i'm gonna have to use my energy burst in pretty wise areas i'm gonna use it there one more and i think that was second place but that should still be fine we just have to do well in the other races so yeah second place all right i gotta make sure i use my energy burst in slightly better areas so i make sure that doesn't happen again but i'm sure we'll be fine i mean what's the worst that can happen me just losing this entire speed run <laughs> i'm sure that won't happen but for this race we are pretty ahead of all of them i mean they do have like robot suits on them which i feel like would weigh them down more than would help them but we're not going to talk about that i guess we're almost to the end good thing i have a good amount of courage or whatever is necessary to go across those and we do get first place in that race now we just have one more and for this one okay now we have a duck that's completely on fire and that duck with the weird eye again what is that duck doing dude are you okay i mean he's an amazing swimmer so he's got that going for him he really is zooming by the good thing for us is that duck is terrible at everything else like look at him try to go through that portal okay that was actually pretty good but we are going to be able to beat him there go through this portal faster than him and hopefully make it to the end we are like almost out of energy please okay i was so worried about that but we won hooray but there we go we won that tournament now someone else is like, hey, you want to race? Because he thinks we're pretty cool. And yeah, it's a full-on alien duck that we're facing off against now. I don't know how you even make this stuff up. So he's not too much better than us. I mean, it honestly seems like we're pretty neck and neck. And yeah, it's just a regular race. I mean, there's not much going on. I can use my burst of speed right there. And this should be the end. So I'm going to use one more burst of speed, make it, and now we can move on face against off of all these like fire ducks or whatever is going i don't even know anymore so in these fire duck sections you have to beat three different ducks the first one is this one that's completely on fire and his special skill is he's really good at climbing so we're gonna have to use our energy to make sure we can beat him because he is way farther ahead of us but thankfully we're much faster at other things like running so we can catch up make it to the goal just before him finish out that race move on to the second guy 
who, yeah, he's like a lava bird, I guess. And this duck is gonna be really good at swimming, which I don't know how there is even water on this planet. How is there water on this holy fire planet? Also, I would assume that he can't swim because he's literally made out of lava, but I guess we shouldn't worry about that. Instead, let's just worry about winning this race. You can see it's pretty close to neck and neck, but thankfully we're able to jump before him, finish that one out, and we can get the last one, which is like a transformer or something. And this one is going to be very good at intelligence, so we want to make sure we have a good head start on him. It starts out with this flying section, which we are better than him at. And then we get to a climbing section where we want to use our first boost. And then we also get a running section where we want to use another boost. And then the intelligence, which we need to be faster than him at this point because he is much better than us at intelligence. But thankfully we won it there. And now we can face off against the final boss fight where we actually have to do stuff. So for this final boss fight, instead of it being a race where I don't really do anything, I'm controlling my duck. I'm moving left and right with my arrow keys and I just want to go fast here. And it is kind of funny because the other duck is racing against us, but we're so much faster than him that he doesn't even really have a shot. I don't even see him next to me. Like, where is this dude? Is this even a race at this point? But you want to be a little bit careful because, you know, I don't really feel like losing at this point. Okay, that was a little bit scary. You know, it's just a fiery tundra of waste and scariness. I don't really know what else to explain it as. I don't know why we chose to race on this place and I just missed that jump. Okay, that's a tiny time loss. But honestly, this race is not too bad. I can kind of just jump my way to victory. I still don't even see this dude. I feel like it isn't even possible to lose against this guy unless you just constantly die over and over again. And now we have a boulder that's chasing after us and trying to run us over, which you know isn't too great. So I'm gonna dodge it right there, jump right over it, make sure we don't die to these lava pits. And we should be just about at the end. Make sure I don't die to the last lava pit because that would really suck. And there we go. That is going to be crown and is going to be time 3214. I'll be honest, alien duck. I didn't even know I was racing against you. I did not see you at all. Now we're on to duck life battle. This speed run starts after we create our character and our duck is telling the other ducks about his whole experience doing duck life space. When a tornado comes, it completely swipes them all up and gets rid of all of our progress. Now, one thing you'll notice is my mouse is in a very specific spot and that's where the fly button usually would be. If we spam fly during that cutscene, what we can do is go into this menu. And then if we switch the controller and then press right, right, and down, we can fly to a place that's normally unaccessible in this part of the game. So right now we're in the end game area without having to do any of the stuff before there. And that means we can access the best missions right away. This is really important for the speed run because right away we can go to the trainings that are best for each skill, like this one for power. What we're going to do is play volleyball. And in this one, we're a complete jerk. See, instead of just playing this game, like normally letting us hit it back and forth, what we can do is spam the pause button with our controller and that causes the ball to just go forward slightly each time we press it while the duck has to stay stationary so we can just completely destroy them and this really becomes evident why this is important once you get to the later levels because these ducks are much better at playing volleyball so if we do it this way we don't have to worry about their skills at all and it's really nice using this during the later levels because you'll see our power level is increasing a ton on these so getting a good streak is really important and we're just going to keep using this until we get to level 100. For the speed run, we have to get all of our stats to level 100, and we have tons of cool tricks that we're going to use for that, but we're at level 33. We'll hit this guy right now. Now, there should only be one more of these ducks that we have to beat until we make it to level 100, so there we go. Just put it right behind him, and right away, we can go back to the menu, which means now we're going to defense training. And for defense, we like using another desert training, and here we have to hit the bombs out of the sky before they hit the ground. We also have these two structures on the left and right side of the map, which if they get hit by bombs they just slowly go down so they act as like sort of protection for us for a while at least at the beginning of the game but soon they will be removed because these bombs are going to come a lot faster it's really important to try to maintain them as much as possible though but with the controls you use for this it's really weird to do because instead of just aiming for the bombs you have to aim ahead of them and yeah it just gives you some difficulty but once we make it later in the round you can see where this game really starts getting profitable with the levels we're getting so many bombs that we hit every time they give us a good amount of xp and i'm just trying my best to stay alive if we could get to level 50 for this first one that would be amazing generally if i can do this in two or three rounds that's usually good and there we go that's a bomb still pretty good 46 now we'll just continue this till we're done okay looks like we're at level 99 we're about to be there that's level 100 onto the next mini game and for desert health training this has the funniest strategy 
So what we want to do is, first of all, we're just going to take this coin. And then there's going to be a bomb that comes down. But what we want to do, again, is use our pause ability to make that bomb go really slowly. And as soon as it hits our duck, we'll stop pausing. And then we can get rid of that. And now our health level is going to slowly go up this whole time. So we don't have to do anything for this one. We're pretty much just waiting. It's a pretty funny strategy. I have no idea why this works, but... Oh, our health stopped. So we had to repeat that really quick. We'll just do the trick again. And I mean, it's not too big of a deal. I just have no idea what happened there. But yeah, we're pretty much just continuing this till level 100. And the really nice thing about doing this one is we also get tons of coins, which are going to be really important for later in the run. So this one serves two purposes. First, to get our health level up and second, to get tons of coins. Finally, it looks like we're about at level 100 with almost 800 coins. That's a really good number. And we only have two more trainings to do. First, the farm special training. For this one, what we're going to do is pause again with our controller and then we can just spam the space bar button and get so many points over and over again. It's so funny how broken the pause button is in this game. You can just use it in so many different scenarios. And finally, it looks like we got to level 100, so only one more mini game. And lastly, we have speed training, which this one we actually have to play the game. Now what you have to do is press the button that corresponds to what he has in his hands. And then when he starts doing two at the same time, it stops being worth it. So we're just gonna spam all the buttons. That way we can always have as much XP as possible we're not waiting trying to do the harder ones this is just the fastest way to do it and finally it looks like we're about at 100 during the spam and that is going to be all the mini games done we're now level 100 on everything so before we actually get to our final battles we're going to the shop and right here all we need to get is this laser gun which is going to be the best weapon and head over to the battle center we're here we're going to change our weapon to the laser gun and upgrade it all the way to level five that's why it was so important to get those coins earlier and now it is time for this battle which we are much better than this man he does have armor he has a pretty good weapon i guess but you can see just how much damage we're doing especially with our level five and as soon as we activate our special we get a super beam and it completely destroys him that's the first battle then second one we're not even changing anything up this is the perfect synergy that we already have again they have armor we don't but because we upgraded ourselves so much and because we have an amazing weapon it really isn't too much of a problem we can use our special right there and i'm pretty sure that should one shot him again that's going to be another ko and there is only one more battle which is going to be this knight guy and he has really good armor we're kind of a little scared of him until we see his attack he does so little damage i don't even know how he's only done 50 on two attacks so far so it's kind of embarrassing and of course we're going to use our special right here which leaves him with three that's kind of sad but he's just going to go for one more hit we can finish him out and all we have to do is end off the speed run as soon as we get our crown you'll see the mayor comes by he says congratulations that dude i'm going to present you with the grand tournament crown and he doesn't even look at us he 360s it onto our head and there we go that's time 3805 and finally we're on the duck life adventure this speed run starts again as soon as we make our duck he's really happy he just got spawned into the world and then he starts out by watching some tv and seeing the grand champion marco and he's really inspired by him and wants to become an adventurer so he tells his mom but she says no he's gonna become a rich doctor so marco through the tv says don't listen to your mom become like me and we take a bag and we're leaving goodbye mom yeah that's actually the start of this game and we just have to walk through the city until we jump in a sewer and three hours later we spawn right here where we see this guy his name is dory and he's going to introduce us to the island he says to the left is the battle town and to the right is the race town then he tells us we smell like a sewer which is really rude and yeah i do not like this guy at all so we're going to the battle town first but as soon as we cross over the bridge the bridge is going to get destroyed and dory says we've been eating too many pies and then tries to battle us i don't know why this guy is such a jerk but we're going to completely ignore his battle and quit out and before he talks to us we want to use our mouse and go over to this building so we enter the building while his text box is still there then we're just going to click through all this stuff which is the introductory stuff just teaching us about stuff like the inventory and quests and then once we get through this dialogue it's spawns us back at the sewer and repairs the bridge over to the left there's normally a cutscene here of him walking away that's why we have to just stand here but now we can go to both sides it doesn't matter that the bridge collapsed and that means we're getting to our first training jumping and the jumping training is pretty simple all we have to do is press x and not go into any of the doors the holes or the windows and we're just going to keep jumping little by little until we reach level one because we only need to get to level one jumping for other stats we'll be training them more but for this one that's it and we're also going to stop by right here go to this totem pole and we're going to update 
update our map so we can use fast travel there later before heading our way over to special training. And in special training, we drive a tractor and the farther you get, the more XP you're gonna get. But the tractor is also extremely slow. So instead of just riding it, what we're going to do is use our front wheel to give us a little bit of extra burst of speed. And yeah, that's pretty much the entire start of this mini game. And if our front wheel knocks into anything, it pretty much breaks. So we have to be careful about that. One of the cool things about these mini games though, is every time we reach level 10, it gets an upgrade. Well, sometimes it's an upgrade. Sometimes it's a downgrade for us. But for this first one, it will be an upgrade because now we can destroy crates. So we can destroy that crate right there and it's gonna give us six XP. The crates will speed this up a ton. So they're really important. And just in general, we're gonna get two XP every once in a while instead of just one. So we'll be going by a bit faster. So next up, once we get to 20, I wanna die right away. And that's gonna give us wheelie points. And what we're gonna wanna do is actually use our front wheel for wheelies, which is gonna be called an endo. Just because doing endos gives you more XP than doing a wheelie with your back wheel. So yeah, it's just all the things combined. We're still trying to hit the crates. We're still trying to go fast and we're doing some endos. And finally at level 30, here's where this mini game really starts getting fun. And that's because we're gonna get a tractor upgrade and this tractor is gonna make us go extremely fast. Now we're no longer gonna go for the endos just because our front wheel is so weak and while we're going this fast, it's gonna break a ton if we're not careful. So we'll mostly be doing regular wheelies and also try to do flips when we get on curves like this because that's gonna give us an additional four XP. I really love this mini game once we're at 30 before it's kind of boring, but once you get here, it becomes definitely one of the best ones in the game. And finally, once we get to level 40, not much changes. The only additional thing we get is we get coins every time we do a flip now. So that's kind of cool, I guess, but we'll very quickly make it over to level 50 and that's special done. Now we're going to be heading over to upgrade our health, which health is also a mini game. I really like what we have to do is throw these forks onto the fruit and we can't have the forks hit each other. Also, sometimes it will give us a coin. That's just a nice thing because we don't really have to worry about the forks. But yeah, this mini game is pretty fun, but you have to wait for the previous fork to hit the fruit before you can do another. And yeah, that's what we're focusing on. Then once we make it to level 10, it introduces wall bounces. And this is when the game really starts getting a bit harder. I mean, I guess it's not the hardest thing in the world, but there's definitely more to keep track of. And it's going to be a bit slower, which isn't the best, but it does definitely make this mini game more dynamic. So I like it. Now onto level 20, it's going to be introducing moving targets, which sometimes can also get combined with the wall bounces or other times we just have to throw straight up. Both are pretty hard, as you can see by that. Then onto level 30, we have multi-spin and I do not like multi-spin. What this one does is it will slow down the fruit and then cause it to go in the other direction. And sometimes you won't see that it's a multi-spin soon enough. So it will cause a death. I guess they aren't really a death when I'm thinking about it. You're literally just having to restart the mini game, but still. And finally onto level 40, we have bomb diffusal, which is actually a really cool one. It's one of my favorite ones because all you have to do is hit it in between those gates. And it's a pretty fast one to add on. But finally, we're making it to the last one. Just have to hit this tire with the multi-spin, got to defuse a bomb, and that's another level 50. So the last part of this little area is gonna be training up our strength. And this mini game's pretty good. It can get a little annoying as you will see in a bit, but the main premise of it is we have to stack these things on top of us so we can really get up our strength. And there will also be some coins that fall. For the most part, I don't really go out of my way for them unless they're a silver coin. How this works is 10 bronze coins are a silver coin and 10 silver coins are a gold coin. But you can see that there's actually a problem with this mini game. Sometimes it seems like you should have stacked something and it just doesn't connect. And I guess that one wasn't the worst thing in the world, but sometimes it's like, what are you doing burger? How does the burger not connect there right away? I don't really understand. There's probably some logic that goes to it. Like right there, how does that, that should have been on. At least I think so. And we got a really good start to this one. We really want to get to as late as the game as possible so we can get extra XP. And for the level 10 upgrade, now we're on rollerblades. This is pretty much the exact same thing. We're a bit more slippery and a bit faster, but not too much changes. There is a bit more that changes for level 20 though, because now it's going to add obstacles. You can see those red exclamation marks, they come down. And if we get hit by those, then we're gonna die automatically. It doesn't even get rid of one of our lives. It gets rid of all of them. And for level 30, now we have a car. I don't know how this is still strength training, but it is really nice because we have so much control over ourselves and we're also extremely fast. And you can see, especially once we get higher on this, there's just so much control we have. We don't have to worry about this at all. So these later parts become a lot easier. And then finally for level 40, we have the car again, but we have to deal with the falling obstacles as well. It just adds those back and not too much else changes, but it looks like we're about to be done with all that. That's level 50. And now it's time for some battles. What we're going to want to do is head over to the left side of the map and go inside this cave where there's going to be this person right here. But this person has no idea what's about to hit them. Basically before the run, I did a glitch called new game plus. That's when you have a completed save file with tons of items. And then you go back to the title screen and start a new game. 
doing that allows you to keep all the items from that completed save file. So we have a really overpowered weapon and tons of items. And we're going to be able to use this exact same thing for this guy, just completely one-shotting them. Don't worry, battles will get a lot harder later in the run, but for now, it's nice and easy. Anyways, after that, it's time for some endurance training, which endurance is one of the ones that's pretty fun, but also very hard to do. Because what you want to do is get going extremely fast, that way we can get a ton of XP, but it's really easy to hit the top of the ceiling or just crash into anything. So yeah, it's a fun training, but it's also a pretty hard training. For this one though, we actually only have to get up to level 10, so we won't even see the upgrades. And I might as well try to go a little bit farther. We might be able to get 11. Come on, okay, well, and we got 10. And before we get to our next training, we have to see Dory again. And Dory has trained a lot more in all the racing things, so obviously he's gonna beat us. We also can't use any of our items at the beginning. And what he's gonna tell us to do is use our rush. But that's gonna get rid of all of our energy. So he's gonna be like, oh no, you're about to run out. And he's gonna give us a free energy bar, which gives us a bit more. And the game's still not letting us rush or anything. So we just kind of have to slowly lose to him. Yeah, it's very sad. We also don't know how to fly, which is hilarious. But right at the end, you know what? Dory, I hate you. I'm gonna use a coffee. So we take the win. That's what you get. And time for speed training, which speed is a really fun mini game. What you have to do for this is either go left or right, depending on where the platforms are. And if you mess up, then you get stunned for a while and will literally get eaten by lava. So this is a really good mini game. The only problem about it is you gain XP really slowly, so it takes a long time. I enjoy it though, and after a while, you will see the lava is definitely starting to rise. If we make a mistake, we're literally going to die. This game likes killing you. But anyways, now that we're on to level 10, what it's going to add is ladders, which are basically another way for you to go a bit faster. But other than that, exact same game. Then on to level 20, this time it's going to add an extra platform. So now we have to deal with three different ones. And that becomes actually pretty difficult because you have to really be paying attention here. It also removes our ladders, which kind of sucks. But yeah, same general game, just a bit harder. And then for level 30, it's again three platforms, but we get the ladders back. Not too much to say, but we are actually going to stop at level 40. We don't need to go any more than that. So yeah, that's another one done and time to go through Feather Forest all the way around the map until we get to Santa Claus. And Santa is going to want to both race us and battle, but thankfully we can finally use all of our items we have, which will completely destroy this dude. At the start, I'm going to use a banana peel. He just trips over. It's kind of hilarious. And we can do that slide over there. We have pretty okay climbing skills and we have a good amount of energy. So I'm really not worried about this one. I don't remember if he's able to fly, but we don't even get to see. Oh yeah, he just went straight towards the ground. Then also here, I'm going to put on both my rocket ship, which is going to be my weapon. And we're going to use the robot stuff. The robot clothes have the best amount of defense, but they're weak against water attacks and strong against electricity attacks. But for this fight, they are going to be the best one. And what we can do right here is use a weather button, which we actually got lucky and got electricity. That can be a few different things. I'll go into it later, but that is going to give us the other half of the key so we can actually go through this locked gate. And that's going to open up the flying training for us, which flying is one that sadly we only do one level for. I actually really enjoy this training, so I wish we did a bit more, but I mean, to be fair, it's also a really slow one. You can see at the rate we're getting XP. So as soon as we get level one, we'll quit out from there. And we're heading over to the flying master. This guy claims that he's the best flyer in the world, and we're going to prove him wrong. Actually, we're not really going to prove him wrong. We're just going to be better at everything else that isn't flying and also use things like banana peels, which is hilarious. But you can see our flying is not good at all. So we have to rely on different tactics. Like instead of letting this guy fly, I use my lasso and he doesn't even get to use his ability. He's so proud of probably the rudest thing I've ever done. I almost feel bad about that, but he was talking a lot of trash. You got to do what you got to do. And the nice thing about winning that race is now we have fast travel unlocked as soon as we hit a totem pole. So we'll click some more totem poles in the future, wherever we want to fast travel like this one over here. I will just grab really quickly and then we'll head over to the grand dojo. And now we can train anything that we have level 50 up to hundred. And we're going to start with special which I do not like this mini game. What you have to do is find the right bird in a group of a bunch of birds. The problem is you have to take at least around 250 to 300 pictures in total to get level 100. So yeah, we're going to be here for a while, but to go on to level 60, now we have running birds, which does add a bit of challenge because we do have to see them from a side profile, but not too different. And it also will combine it in with the regular standing birds. So we have to do both of them. Now onto level 70, it's going to give us twin ducks where we have to find the group of twins. They'll be looking 
looking the exact same and that's all we have to take the picture of now next up for level 80 the birds are going to start flying around and yeah it's just a slightly harder version of the running not too bad though and finally for the level 90 upgrades we're going to get people in space now the challenge for this one is they can either be facing forward or to the side so it makes it a bit harder but again pretty easy it's just we've been doing this for so long but finally after like 25 minutes we get level 100 okay time for a better training which is going to be strength and for this one what we have to do is cut the right ingredients for the chef and you can see this guy does not like his job just look at his eye but he's going to keep telling us what to do and we have to do it in the right order to keep making him food don't know how this is strength training but i guess fair enough then for the level 60 upgrade it's going to start adding in obstacles like those rolling balls that just come and try to attack us on our feet these ones are always going to be on the ground though so they're pretty easy to jump over but i mean they are something else we have to worry about now onto the level 70 upgrade it's going to add in huge recipes like this burger which is going to be five different ingredients and yeah that's pretty much the entirety of the upgrade then for level 80 we're going to have more of these spiky balls coming at us but they're not just going to be on the ground they can also be coming through the sky so another avenue we have to watch out for and it is pretty easy to get hit here actually especially once everything starts speeding up and there's so many things you have to pay attention to look how fast that went but finally for level 90 it is time for the worst part of this game because it's going to send out the ingredients one by one and if you miss an ingredient then you have to restart but the problem is it's not very well made so sometimes you have to wait so long for the right ingredient but it looks like we're finally on to level 100 and we are done with mini games so we're going to be heading over to our next spot which is going to be in this ice area where we have to fight this robot guy and it is going to be robot versus robot unluckily for him though i have items so we're going to hit him with the lasso and then the banana he is so behind us at this point but after a while you will see he's catching up and that's because we haven't trained any of our racing abilities since we're really just relying on our items to carry us and we will be coming to the end i have to make sure that i'm using my energy bars as well and just keeping track of where this dude is so we win the battle first time and i don't even know if he'll make it to the end okay he did but then it's time for the fight and we're just going with the rocket strategy again this guy is a lot harder than our previous dudes though he has a lot of health and he also has a lot of attack power so we're really relying on just hoping we can get the right stuff we'll use our stopwatch right there to stun him then we're going to go for this special we'll hope this just one hit kills him this can be a whole range of damage that time it gave us 388 and that's a win so next up we're heading to the cave for this guy and he is going to give us another race where again we're just using all of our items right away he's going to get ahead of us so i can use my lasso and he just face plants and then we'll go ahead and use our frostbite which freezes him and we are way ahead of this dude at this point i mean he is catching up so we will still want to use things like bananas and i don't know what my duck just did there that was pathetic but it really is funny just how much you can cheese these races it's really hard to cheese the battles but the races are so easy compared so that's why we don't upgrade anything then onto the battle we see that this guy has an electricity weakness so what we're going to want to do is bring thor's hammer and he also uses electricity damage so since we have the robot stuff which is resistant to that he'll also do less damage so overall this is just a great strategy we can go for that take him out right away and because we got both of those things we find this guy who says that two people took his glass lenses so that's why we took out both of those birds we got them back for him and now we can go to here which is going to be the swimming training this mini game is so good but we're only gonna get a single level i really enjoy this one it is kind of sad but we just want to get enough xp so we're gonna be able to get level one right away i'll do one more flip right there we got the level up and we're heading out and we're also gonna stop by the battle shop that way we can refill all the stuff we used we have gotten a lot of coins throughout this speed run before heading over to the master and he says we're ready for the city tournament but we got to get our ticket first on the way to the ticket though we'll also stop by the race shop refill this stuff too and now we're heading over to the right into the ocean because we got to go for our ticket but before that there's another person blocking our way and this guy is really hungry so he wants us to collect clams for him these people are so lazy i swear but it's a pretty simple puzzle we just got to grab them and we'll give our clams to this guy i don't know why he's such a jerk but it is what it is which is going to allow us to get our tournament tickets so that's pretty cool but before we get to the tournament what we want to do is race this dude but we're not actually going to race him instead we're going to pause and quit out right away then we'll go into our first tournament race and that makes it so so when we go into the tournament instead of it being its normal stage it's going to be the one of that guy we just quit out of so this is a much easier stage than the one it's supposed to be and that means we can very easily win we're going to be using things like frostbites so they get stuck on the walls and yeah it is just the easiest win of my life but for some reason losing that race allows you to do this i don't know why but i'll take it and it's going to be the same for all three of the races you have to do so we'll just repeat
repeat this three times. Finally, after doing those, we got our first place. And now we have to do the battle section of the tournament where this is where the battles really start getting difficult. I'm going to be using a lot more of my stuff. I got to use my stopwatch. I got to use my protein shake, which allows us to do more damage and the weather button. Now the weather button can either heal you. It can electrify them, which does damage or can freeze them. We got freezing right there. And now this dude is like kind of completely destroying me. But as soon as we get our special, it should be able to take him out. He only has 100 health and that's good to go. Then next up, we got this guy who has the puffer fish. So we're actually going to switch off of the robot outfit because the robot is weak to water attacks, like I said earlier, and we can also do tons of damage. We completely destroyed him. And now onto this one, we got Flint. We're back to the robot outfit, but we're still using our electricity because they're weak against it. And we are slightly running out of stuff. I mean, we still got plenty of them, but they do cost a good amount of money. So we want to make sure we're good on our amount of items. I'll use my special right here. Doesn't do as much damage as I wanted it to, but it did stun him, which was perfect. So we got that one done and that'll be another win for us. But we still have to fight the master. First, I will get some stuff from the shop, but oh, it actually didn't keep the map it was supposed to be. So we're going to try going back to this guy, but Oh yeah, sometimes this game is weird. We'll have to go to a different duck and get their map. Same old, same old, just quit out right here. And now that we're into this map, this is such an easier map than it normally would be. And we can use our frostbite again. The master is really fast. He's actually really good at this game. So we need all the advantages we have and we just completely destroy him. And now for the battle, you'll see that we're in our Jack Frost outfit because he has ice powers. And the master is also someone who's really strong. You'll see I'm stocked up at least. And we are gonna use our stuff like the weather button. We get a really nice hit right there. We just have to make sure he doesn't kill us on this freeze. Please master stop. I am using so many burgers and so many apples. Hopefully this hits. Sometimes they can actually dodge your special, but that's going to take him out. That's another win. So yeah, we're now the winner of the city tournament, which means that all that's left is one more tournament and we got to move our master out of the way, which is going to open up this area. Now there are a few puzzles we have to do first, like moving over these boxes. Then next up, we have to find the right way on these treadmills. Third, we have to fly across these big pits. And fourth, we have to do this guy's Zen garden to make sure it's all even before going over to the totem pole. And here's where we're going to buy some more stuff before coming to another duck so we can get his master and same old same old just quit out right away before it's finally time for the last tournament now of course we're starting out with this and I've actually never done this race before so I'm not exactly sure what the best strategy is but it does seem like I may have made a mistake still we got third place now thankfully you don't have to get first place every time for these you do for the battle but you just have to be the overall winner out of all three races so if we get first place these next two tries then we'll be good to go and I know the right strategy at this point point. and we got our first place now it's time for the battle side of the tournament starting out with this guy and for these battles there's actually a pretty good possibility that we lose now this guy isn't too bad at least the first person but once you get to person number three it gets bad but on to two we have somebody who does have his ice powers of course we're just going to use our same oh wow that did a lot of damage okay we're going to use our watch right there we can stun him we're not doing too much damage we have to hope we can get a good special i'll try the weather button which unfortunately healed me that's not what i wanted then he freezes me and Okay. Yeah, sometimes you just get unlucky in this game. So we're back to this part where we're facing the second guy again. Before this, I had to go back, pick up some more items and get through the first dude again. But you'll see here for this tournament, it can actually switch up who we're going to be battling against in each stage. At the very least, oh my gosh, we only have one HP. <laughs> I cannot believe we just won that. But onto the third person of this fight, it's going to be Drake. He has all of his ice abilities. Again, he starts out with a really good attack. I'm super scared of that. We got to get some good stuff here. Like I need a good weather button. Of course, it heals me again. That's not what we like to see. And he freezes me again, but we still are okay. I'm out of burgers and all of that. But thankfully, we need the greatest special of my life and it did more than 400 thank you okay that one was terrifying but that's a first place and before we get on to the actual final boss which is going to be marco from the start of the game we got to get a bit more cash because we didn't get the best luck so we got to buy some more items and now after this we're back to the marco fight which this has the exact same strategy for some reason we were able to face off against that one bird again who had this map i'm not exactly sure why some of these glitches work in this game but yeah exact same strategies last time where we we trip Marco and yeah, this is a little embarrassing 
embarrassing for you, bud. But now onto the battle. This one is actually really bad because we don't just need to be Marco, but we also need to make sure that he doesn't get below half health. Otherwise, our mom comes in. Basically, the lore of this game is Marco is actually our dad and left our mom so he could go adventuring. And once we beat him up by halfway, she'll come out, which isn't a good thing. So we're trying to make sure that we can just get him down enough and then use a special, which will hopefully take him out. But I have not been getting the best luck in the world and he takes us out. Okay, so what happened is I lost a couple more times and finally I realized that I'm not doing this run again. Doing some of these mini games for 25 minutes straight really crushes your soul. So we're just gonna upgrade our health instead. And for this first part, we're just riding a bike. All you can do is stop the bike. You can't control its tilt or anything. So it's not the best mini game. Then onto level 60, we have a tandem bike with another random bird. Not too much changes about this, but I mean, it's a thing. Just me and my buddy hanging out. Then for the level 70 upgrade, it's going to give us these weird contraptions like this thing, the seesaw contraption is also pretty popular here and yeah we just go through them now on to level 80 we switch off the bike and now we're on a roller coaster ride which we kill a lot of people on this roller coaster ride because it doesn't matter if any of the other people die as long as we're fine it's okay so we just killed those people yeah this is pretty hard to control and it definitely is a thing as you can see. And for the level 90 upgrades, it makes it even worse because it adds more people. Every single time, three carts of them are going to die. You can see their bodies getting flung all over the place. This is kind of the worst thing of all time. But you know, also still not my problem. But finally, we're on to level 100, which means it's time to take out Marco. So we're back to the fight. I can't lose here. Otherwise, I will not have enough items and we'll have to go do some more grinding. But you can see my health is much better. Better. I should have done this at the start, but I was just hoping for the good luck. It's just, I can't do another one of these runs. Some of the mini games, like the picture one, they really start to break you, but we are going to get rid of that special right there because we don't want to take the chance on it yet. Then we'll use a weather button. That is exactly what we needed. We're getting him down and stuff. Then we can use one of our stopwatches. That's going to stun him. And here, hopefully we can get more than 300 damage so we don't see our mom. There we go. We finally KO'd Marco. And we'll end off time as soon as we get first place. 3.57.07. Subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.